folks. Here we are. We might be drunk. We got a hot show. We got Jim and Nikki. How the hell are you? Hey. Hi. All right. <laughs> now, does that lead into an intro, or are you actually asking? I'm asking. Oh, sorry. That was off with the two duds we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. I'm really good. I, I love how you I love how you look. Thank you. Thank you. You're the one. Tell my, <laughs> unlike my wife. Yeah. You, no, you're, the sweater is nice. You're just going to move into someone's apartment and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here yeah. with Mrs. Dog. Yes. Winnie. Winnie. This is Winnie. Winnie. She is so cute. I want to bring her home. <laughs> oh, look at you. She's getting angry right now. Oh, I hope she bites you. Do you know how happy oh, that would make me? Won't. She might. She attacked Ari really? Shafir pretty badly. Did she really? Yeah, yeah, she saw his act. But I feel like I have like, an animal spirit. I can talk to the animals. Oh, really? Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he came mooing along. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I had to do a calling, cow calling. All right. You got mooing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to explain it. They got it. It's called kulning in Norwegian. Well, he likes to get milked. So. <laughs> you ever watch milking video porn? Sure. Uh, yeah, on the massage table? Yes. Of course. Pretty hot with the the ladies under it. With yeah. the whole if we the had table. a threesome, he would be bukkake man. <laughs> but I'm not allowing. I don't think we should do a threesome yet. No, I'm not, I don't want to. He probably would want more trans we girls. A, I, would, yeah. I wouldn't here. like that at all. Right. You'd want to be the I only like one. Strictly men. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, but we're not going to have a threesome. Um, but I do like the milking. Wow, look at those purple balls. <laughs> Jesus. I was looking at the tits, but that's... Oh, right. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Ah, look at those big, fat, heavy balls. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Shaved. know that I would wake up and be here and then watch balls. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How much work are you going to give them to edit out of YouTube? Yeah, please. Normal people here, they don't... You show them the same thing? Sure. Yeah. Purple balls. They pulled up. He's a pervert. Yeah. Look at him. Look yeah. at that mustache. Yeah. They know what they're going to do. Yeah, that, that's a fucking, uh, that's a van in a front of a school mustache. Oh, I don't yeah. just look like Ron Jeremy. I live it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to jail for rape. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ron's not going to jail. He's like, uh, oh, he no, he was. Uh, he, he's got dementia. He's so fucked up. He like, literally, it's not faking it. They, could, they couldn't, he couldn't stand trial. What? Yeah, yeah. That'd that be was, great if it ended like primal fear, though, and it turned out he was. It was all <laughs> I just act. faked the whole thing. Yeah. Well, she he was, did. <laughs> Sorry. Remember when he was at our show at the cellar and he was passed out during the set? Yeah, he liked comedy. Who yeah, he did. Ron, Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Oh, Ron. You know Ron Jeremy. He did comedy. Right? No, he just oh, loved did he? going to I shows. I knew about him. I learned about him when I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Good age to find out about yeah. him, Jeremy, the hedgehog. No, I think he did actually do comedy. I didn't know. Yeah, at one point, I think I he mean, he looks like he would. Yeah, I think yeah. at one point he did stand up. He did love comedy, and he would always like he would always like he would. Uh, text me or he's always asking for like money yeah. or asking for weird if she didn't if he didn't have a big deck would he be big and porn you think no 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 he's all gone novelty. but he still had personality that's true he how many likeable. porn stars do you know that are personality driven <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it up, but man, what a hilarious guy. <laughs> he's charming. <laughs> yeah. I think he's Jewish. Yes, he is. Okay. He I, looks Jewish. If this is bad, I apologize. What? The this champagne. Wine? Oh, Whatever champagne. Yeah, no. No, no bubbles yummy. in that thing. It's good? Very good. All right. Yeah. No, I don't. You're dry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long? Uh, February 1st of 87. Woo! Wow. Yes, and every person that I know through Jim who happens to be a comedian, they don't drink. They're all in yeah, AA. Yeah, that's true. Cheers. There's a lot so of that very now. nice when I meet people who don't, are not in AA. Yeah, yeah you, you, you meet right. fellow addicts. Then I can relax <laughs> yeah. and enjoy life. Yeah. And life is a little a dictionary, if that makes sense. Agreed. You are supposed to take some risks. Yes. Here, here. Really Sing sad. it, sister. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You guys, did you guys meet during COVID or, or? Oh, no. No, it was way before that, right? Because I remember like, Oh, <laughs> uh, what do you got here? <laughs> Is it bad? <laughs> it's like old Mott's apple juice. I love it. Yeah, that's all right. No, we met years before COVID. We lived together in COVID. That's right. Well, it was we fucking talking online, and I was this which, was which I had. site. Um, no, she actually messaged me on Facebook oh. because she saw me do an interview that she liked what I said about trans people. And just yes. sent me a message. No, but I did webcamming. Yeah, so. I found that out right after. And I was, <laughs> it's good though; you get to see like, all right, do oh, I like this yes. person? Um, let me let me watch them helicopter the deck and just see if we get along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud to have done the type of work that I've done though. At 18, the first day I turn 18, I send in my passport, all my information, and I feel very proud to have done webcamming yes because it made my life and it created my life sure and I could be um 
uh, on my own and pay my own bills. It's got to be good moolah. Yes. Webcaming? I mean, I've donated quite a bit. Oh, yeah, me too. I probably put a lot of those girls through college. (laughs) (laughs) So you got to see the webcam after meeting uh, no i mean after talking a little after bit talking yeah i mean long we, we didn't meet for seven months um well but i didn't I, know I, that he was a comedian i didn't really understand what that was yeah so i just checked his wikipedia and i'm like oh well at least he's got a wikipedia so That's there's got to be something here right yeah, she's the, like it's the worst being married to her like as a comic because she never laughs at jokes it's uh, like always like answers like literally isn't that right. like a norwegian thing yes they're the <laughs> yeah they're all on the spectrum the whole well, she laughed country. at that yes but not a no. I like no. real jokes. When I watch <laughs> someone do material, I convey it as for me. For me, it's not a real joke because I'm hearing the material through the lines. Right. So then I tap out. Got That's it. why I like Sandy Kane when she does oh, comedy. Love she's Sandy like, Kane. "Fuck you, man!" And she's just in her spirit. Totally. Do you, do you know Sandy Kane? No. Pull her up. I mean, yeah. O and A. I love staple. Sandy Kane. Yeah, but if you see Sandy Kane and you be like, "That's my wife's favorite comedian," you'll know why I'm in fucking hell. Her stand-up is underrated, though. I agree. It's not. She's a great comic. It's rated All perfectly. Jokes. So I did the Beacon, and we tried to hire her to open. Why? why yeah. Why didn't she, she didn't do it? Do it? Uh, she, she was said in the California. Money was too high. <laughs> no, no. Um, she, uh, she. She was, was in like California. Out of town. Yeah. California. Where? Where could she have been that she couldn't do a gig of that well, size? Well, she did a movie, Jim. Oh. Yeah, the Florida, the Florida Project. Project. Yes. Oh, I saw that movie. Oh, great right. She shows her tits in it. That I was think. a good movie. It was. That up. was great. Yeah. And she fucking. I think we had Willem Dafoe in one time, and he starred in that. And we brought Sandy in, and it was just very, very uncomfortable. Yeah. Why? Same. Because dick. like she kept bugging him about like, uh, I think she you know she wants to to do more work with him, and he was just oh. like, ha, 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 you know, oh, that's just up. politely kind of <laughs> yes. fucking brushing it yeah, off. I heard, did you hear that Willem Dafoe's dick is so big? Yes. They had to get a stunt double for one of his movies because <laughs> it would be that. distracting. Yeah. Like there's a guy whose job is to just be like, yeah, he's got a medium sized. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's who <just> your... comes in. <laughs> That's where I come in the show business. <laughs> That's your claim to fame. Like, you look like Willem Dafoe, but you have a small dick. <laughs> you're like, I'll never make this work. And it's like, wow, we need you for something. Well, Willem Dafoe, you look at him, his skin is so tight, you can kind of tell he's well packing. Yeah. Because he looks yeah. like a dick. Like, he's like... Yeah. He's, he looks like a penis. <laughs> like, his whole body. He's meant to be penis. Yes, yes. You exactly. Know, you know who's got a big cock? Uh, Dafoe. I heard James Woods. <laughs> Yeah. Oh really? You're all wife. my wife. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but no, James Woods has a legendarily. And I'm very giant proud dick. to have a penis, although I'm a woman. I'm very yeah. proud to have a penis. It works, and I love my body. Yes. Cool. yes. Well, I'll be on the webcam later. Thank you. Yeah, I'll send, send you a link. Send me a link. Please. Have you yeah. seen his material about you? No. You've what? seen some of it? Well, a little bit. That's oh, great. It's really funny. Yes. Thank you. Some Have you seen James legendary. Woods' penis? What's that? Have you seen James Woods' penis? Is that James Woods' dick? Yep. Let me see. I've yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little blur. not a good sign when you say zoom in. It's not a good photo. <laughs> let's see. That's it? Is, is it just hairy? I, I don't can't know. see. If that's it's soft. Dark. It's decent. Yeah. See if I can get a better one. I yeah, heard I Harvey know, Keitel I is, is all right. Ah. And I heard Liam Neeson. Oh Sometimes the guys, sometimes the guys are like, Kaitel is so tiny that you're like, right. he might, it might not have to be that big to look huge. Right, right, That's right. True. Liam Neeson, I'm not surprised, but he's a big, imposing man. Six five. Six five. He yeah. should have a you fucking big dick. Need a big dick in your porn to be able to. I prefer like, it. Is it better if it's a big cock? Yeah, it just it reads. Because I'm very cock driven, so for me it's all about the cock, and it yeah. is better when there's a huge cock. I like it better, yeah. Uh-huh. My girlfriend actually fucked Liam Neeson once. Whoa! That yeah. well, respectful. Like, I long really time respect ago, that. Because I did fuck Liam Neeson. I was like, um, and I didn't ask, but uh, it, it sucks because now when I watch Schindler's List, it's even sadder. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. this fucking prick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Now you have to hate him. Did yeah. she never date him? She just banged him? No, they went on like three or four. Oh, times. they went out a couple of times. Oh, yeah. There we go. So it's more than once. Yeah. yeah. She said just once. Oh, really? She yeah. made him wait. Okay, I respect yeah. that. Here's I can't see which one is James Woods. The on the left, it's, uh, on the right, the guy in the far left. That's I James. literally can't. See. I can't, I can't see tell it. either. Can this is it. not very impressive so far. Oh no! Um, wait, James well, Wood. Um, yeah, I think I can kind of see it hanging there in the shadow. It's I can see it. Grainy, no, not bad. I, it's just, I think I it's a bad quality it. pick here. It's a bad quality yeah. photo. This is like we're watching porn from 1980s. Oh, yeah, yeah. this is old school. 
Very old school. This is VHS. Right. But anyway, James was at the big dick. Okay. Chaplin had a big dick. I heard Charlie, Cha- Charlie Chaplin Whoa. did. Oh. Um, Who's yeah. the comedian with the biggest cock? Hands down. Who? I mean, we all want to just say our own names. Like, that's, that's <laughs> the dumb <laughs> joke. Uh, Milton Berle. Uh, Milton Berle. Had a pe- huge Milton penis. Berle. Yep. Yeah, the famous joke was like his dick's on display at the fi- uh, Friars Club in the second, third, and fourth floor. Oh. Like a street oh, joke I about it. That. Someone uh, challenged him to a penis contest, and he said, I'll just pull out enough to win. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, that's a legend. They all know Milton had a huge cock. For Again? me, a cock has to be over seven and a half inches. Oh. If it's not over seven and a half, I don't care who you are or what you do or how wide it is. It's not a big dick. So that's bodes well for you. Well, yeah, I just made the cut. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Jim has a bigger dick than people would think. I've seen it. Thank you. Yeah. You showed well, me you when I met it? you. <laughs> yeah. It's a decent cock. It's yeah. a good cock. Thank you, Mark, very much. I but again, you that. look I like have, a penis. I have been with bigger dicks than Jim's, though. Ah. Sure, I mean, that's always how you want to clarify yeah. it. That's always the best way. We could have left it off and just see yeah, it. Yeah, of course. You didn't have to throw that in. Yeah, 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 you the compliment, but then, like, all kidding aside, like, you know, <laughs> this is on the lower end of the spectrum. Yeah. But. Wow. Who are we talking? Quinn? <laughs> Colin? I want to know. Colin, Colin probably has a thick, juicy cock. <laughs> You think so? Like yeah, because potato. when he beards, when he grows out his beard, it just kind of grows everywhere. Sure. So I just feel like his dick did the same through puberty. Uh, okay. You think he's got a thick dick? Well, he's got a big I old do. square noggin exactly. on him. Exactly. I think he has a fat cock. <laughs> Anyone else hard? <laughs> I don't right. know if Colin has a fat. He never struck me no, as a I've guy with a big dick. Me neither. No, he struck me as a guy with a thin Irish dick. I like dick. analyzed it. <laughs> yeah, but I think <laughs> you're wrong. The picture of him is awesome. It's I the know. best. That is my favorite picture is of Colin. Is that Colin? Colin? Yeah. We're in Brooklyn on pills. Wow. He looks like a hipster. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Sick. Park Slope. Yeah, he was a young man then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what, Milton Berle. Milton <laughs> Chaplin, James Wood. Uh, for comedians, um, who has a big dick as a comic? I know I've heard rumors about I've guys. I've heard that Bird has a big dick. Kreischer? Bert Kreischer? Bert's bulge is not bad. He's if got a good see, bulge. We're good. Yeah, Bert's got a pretty good bulge. And That's true. Um, oh, Rogan is huge. He's a big dick. Really? Huge. Oh, shit. Another short guy, though. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen it or you've heard? I've seen it. In, he got out of the ice bath, which is even more impressive. That yeah. I can still see the huge wow. bulge. That is fucking I insane. have been with a few short guys, and they always have big dicks. Yeah. Mm. This is true. But again, it could just look bigger because their little legs are closer to the ground. I'm telling you, this <laughs> thing was a doozy. It was thicker than his neck, and that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Well, I can't think of Kevin any Hart, other. Kevin Hart. But black guys don't really count. Kevin Hart, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just cut that part out. No. Just have him saying, black guys don't count. Yeah, not that's the, society. That's the promo for the episode. <laughs> black guys don't count. <laughs> All right. Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, this is a different podcast. He is fucking ripped. Oh, yeah. He's, what, 60, 55? It's like Dana White who's also a common billionaire. They all have this billionaire look. And I think there's three of them now. It's Matt, Sarah. No, that's not, not a billionaire. Sarah. Dana White. And then it's Joe Rogan. Yep. And then it's the Jeff, Amazon, Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah. Matt Sarah, too. Buff they all look guys. like billionaires. That's it's that billionaire look. I really missed my window to play Hunter Biden the way. Oh, yeah. I the yeah. Way, the way I Adam Ray's it. doing uh, Joe. Dr. Yeah. Phil. I could have cashed in on Hunter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think you still probably could. I mean, yeah, everyone knows. The ship sailed. You think it sailed a little yeah, bit? Yeah, you're more yeah. of a gatherer, Biden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sam Marill as. Any Arabian in you? Ooh. I think I got a hint of Turkish in me. But I can look a little it. Arab. Yeah. That's like 12%. I did. I stupidly did that 23 in me. That's a lot of percent, though. You what? That's a lot of percent. 12? Yes. Yeah. It's a significant. What's the rest? A lot of Ashkenazi Jew. A lot of oh, Eastern European okay. Jew. Damn. I want to do that. What do you guys? I guess I'm Irish. It's boring. I'm fucking Irish. My whole family's from the deep woods of Norway. Whoa. I think I'm 100% Norwegian. That's good. Yeah. yeah very You're white. white. Yeah. Like the well, no. my Absolutely. grandmother's very interested in genealogy, and I asked her, do we at least have a little German? And she's like, no. It's Damn. completely from the deep woods of Norway. The woods. So probably some, some lumberjack. I hope no incest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inevitable. There's probably a little bit back there. I hope not. Yeah. I would explain certain things. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uncle blowing a kid in a gingerbread house. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. you are to have blue eyes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, this probably a little incest. Look this up. I heard there's a dating app in Norway that stops you from fucking a cousin Whoa. because there's so much cousin fucking. <laughs> oh. in no, really? Scandinavia. Are you serious? Yeah, I swear no, to God. Stop. There's an app that like 
has a blocker no, on it. I've never heard about this. It's Are you kinda, actually serious? I swear to God. 23 and Me and the dating oh. app linked up. Let's avoid this one. It's <laughs> a terrible uh, app. Icelanders. It's Icelanders. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Which is very interesting because I've had topic with so many people. Like, I'm from Norway and I feel like I'm from a secluded country. Imagine the Icelandics. 300,000 people. Norway, 5 million. It's oh, a huge difference. Forget about it. If I was an Icelandic person in the big world, I would feel very small. Yes. So I do believe the incest. Yeah, that's not that many people. Yes. I mean, who else are you going to fuck? I mean, if I I would fuck myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do they look like? Because we all know Norwegians are tall, blonde, blue eyed. What the hell do Iceland? Very, very the white. Same. I was okay. watching this. Uh, the same. I was watching this uh, okay. Roman uh, Empire doc on, on Netflix, and it was just about Caligula fucking his sisters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we just bang them all. It's like, it's, if you're going to fuck one, you may as well fuck all three. Of course. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know he had that. Drusilla's the one Drusilla's I know. the big of. one. That was, she was that the one, was the he one loved. That was one he loved. Yeah. But, it, but, you know. He had other ones? I think she's the only one he knocked up. Did he knock her up? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, retarded kid? Maybe. Because incest tends to lead to that. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, Helen Mirren was in the original Caligula, and she's topless in it. She played as- uh, She looked look good. Pull it up. She was very sexy. Yeah, Helen Mirren in the original Caligula. No vibes. She does, but back then she was like in her 30s. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Great. Cans. Mirren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got- Her death. cans were great for another 40 years or so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has amazing breasts. Hachi machi. I forget who she played in Caligula. It was like uh, Queen whatever, whoever he finally married. Like mm. Even back then you couldn't fuck your sister in the open. Oh, is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it was for, even for Caligula, they were like, just you know, keep it under your hat. What is Caligula? Was that Caligula was a, a Roman Caesar? Uh, I believe it was after Tiberius and before like Augustus, or no, not Augustus, <laughs> before uh, Claudius. Mm. He ruled for what? four years. I don't understand. Yeah, just four years. I uh, was four years. Yeah, well, pretty sure, right? He's murdered. Yeah, they were everyone. All of them were murdered. He was, yeah. he, but he was a. No one grew old. And <laughs> Tiberius got really old and died. Really? I think they say Caligula killed him, but he was in yeah. his seventies. Oh yeah, and he was like just most rotting. Of them, most of them died pretty young. Yeah, or like. I mean, Caesar made it even fairly old for like those types of, a lot of battles at least. Yeah. Who, Julius? Yeah. Yeah. A2 Brute. Yeah. Yeah. They were all Caesars. I mean, uh, Caligula Caesar, uh, yeah. Claudius Caesar. But I think Claudius followed him. And Claudius was kind of a dope. Yeah. Like kind of a, a controllable idiot. Yeah. Whereas Caligula was a fucking psychopath. Mm. I think it was four years up until like 31 to 27 or 33 to 29 AD. I think it, was, it might be that. Give and me then, those numbers again. I want to see if you're right. Oh. 33 to 29. Uh, wow, if you get this, it's I'll... 12. Oh, I'm oh, okay. Wow. Oh, no, 24 to 41. Well, how long did he... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, sorry. 37 to 41. 37 to 41. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, they say uh, Genghis Khan, everyone's like 2% Genghis Khan. He raped so many people. We all have a little Genghis in us? A little Connie yeah, in right. us. Yeah. He was a marauder. Genghis Khan was a conqueror. And you want to talk big dongs. What was the name of that one guy? His dick. Dong. No, no, he's in the uh the, the museum. His dick's in a museum. We went to that museum. Derringer? The giant penis. What's his name? He's the a big penis museum. What is it? Uh, Rasputin. Oh uh, huge. Wait, is he in the Icelandic Why big is dick, dick museum? Because it was that big. Probably. And he he wanted to Weird. save it like uh, Danny D. We went to the Icelandic Big Penis Museum. Really? We went to, yeah, we were in Iceland. We did, went to the Bobby there Fisher Museum. That's Whoa. Where is that? That is probably his dick. Yeah. yeah. That's the one. I don't know where it's that is. It's like an going. elephant cock. I know. I don't, know I don't I even believe, believe it. it's real. No, I don't either. I think it's I... just like pulled apart by I... me. It's at the museum in St. Petersburg, Russia. Oh. Okay. Oh, they don't fuck around. Yeah, they probably exaggerated the dog. Russian dick. <laughs> looks like an elephant cock. <laughs> yeah. It does look like an elephant dick. That doesn't look normal. Oh, you might it's not be a right. guy's dick. Well, they're really pushing it. I mean, Jeez. it's on all the brochures and the oh. pamphlets. And, and you know what? That picture still, I love it. <laughs> I, I love her. Yeah, that's hot. Uh, I don't like him. I don't like the fucking that Paul really... Rodriguez looking guy. I, I like... What is he? What's his asshole doing? He's just got to goof it up a bit. Guy. Stop trying to be funny with the big cock in your hand. <laughs> That's two dicks. <laughs> Looks like Jim every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> what, so what, married life, I mean, now that you're married, do you, do you not do as many sets? You're not going out? I still see you at the cellar. I do more <laughs> sets. The more I'm out of the house, the fucking better. Yeah. No, I'm doing two sets a night and I'm yeah. on the road. I mean. I have a wonderful life with Jim Norton. Yeah, it's great. Go. Great to be 27 and non-working and making foods and dinners and what I do you make 
um, Norwegian salmon. I oh, ate. Norwegian good. food. But that Norwegian, yeah. what's that thing I don't like that you like? Fresco fresco du- uh. It's a delicacy. What is it? It's like a fat bacon, but like extra, extra thick. And you can put it on potatoes and cabbage stew. Sounds oh, really, to me. No, it's Sounds really good. good. And then it's you not, pour oh. all the grease from the dish over. I love it's it. It's delicious. No, I'm in. You wouldn't. But I feel like Jim's a very manic person. So I get to enjoy. Not the single life, but life of my own when he's working so much. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I like it too. We like to get whatever I want. I can get a credit card. I don't (laughs) need to work. And I I wouldn't have a job. And it's fine that people look down at me for not wanting to have a societal job. Sorry, I don't want that. I've never wanted that. I've been vocal about that since I was 16. And I'm never going to have a job and be a sheep of society. Won't do it. And if people are going to hate me for that, fine i don't care i have a complete different experience than the average human being Great. everybody everybody narciss- watching this not to sound going, narcissistic what a bitch. but i've not had to have a job and i'm very proud of that <laughs> well, one you, of my greatest accomplishments if you're doing half the house stuff i feel like that's fair yeah somebody brings in the money somebody she does that. all the house stuff okay, and i really well, do the go. house stuff i do the laundry i wake oh. up i do the bed i do the dinners this is not just me being on my computer and kind of doing dinner Right. I put my heart and soul in. All right. That's cool. Yeah, she yes. does the wife stuff. I mean, it's... Trad wife. Yeah, kind, kind of, of, yeah. Tran wife. There you go. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about the kiss posters? No, I don't like those. Mm. But I know that it's just a matter of time. Oh, no. Until I die and she can fucking throw them out. <laughs> I guarantee you, if I had a stroke, as the ambulance was pulling up, I'd hear... <laughs> I'd hear shit getting pulled Sometimes off the wall. Sometimes you have to put all of life's blessing in a jar and then just let the blessings in the jar tip over once you feel free. I see. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, and just you gather a lot of oh. experiences and wait for the jar to tip over. Uh-huh. And then you can just love it all. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the, kind of what I'm doing with my poster. It's it's a weird yes. it's a weird like hoarding obsession. It doesn't mean anything. I bought I I'm getting I sick of it actually. I don't hate the posters though. It's a good addiction to have. This could, like could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Trending hookers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Once enough. <laughs> 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 but you got some cool stuff on your walls. I mean, I've been in your apartment a few times. Yeah. Just the photos you have, the signatures you have. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's like just again being single all those years and just like that was the thing I focused on was getting these May things. May I use the restroom? You got to pee? Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. We have a have a small bladder. Go ahead. Jar if you want to use it. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you got some great stuff. You know. Yes, and I still, I, I love it. She hates it. Like, I know that she hates it, but it's like, it is what it is. You get the bedroom, and I get the rest of the apartment. Yeah. I can, you know, I'll, I'll put what I want on the walls, and you can fucking load the bedroom, and we'll get the furniture that you and, want. But you got it. You figured out how to have a traditional thing, but not traditional. Right, exactly. It's pretty, pretty good. It's actually the only person I could be married to is her. As much as it seems a little bit weird, like she really is the only person I could have married. Yeah. Because she has a sense of humor about all of it, and she has actually seen the material, and uh, she's never like, oh, don't say that, or don't yeah. talk about that. Like, not you could tell by listen. There's nothing I can say that would upset her on stage. She doesn't give a fuck. I yeah. love. That's my biggest turn off with a lady. I I can't even be with a woman who gets offended by jokes or like no. squeamish or like ugh and and a dick would turn me off. The, but, the, I understand that. The, that's, that's, it's, it's a tough sell for a lot of guys. Sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, for me, it was like literally the first thing I saw when I walked through the showroom door. <laughs> but for a lot of guys, it's a tough sell. They're like, yeah. she's got a cock. I'm like, all right, well, it's not for you. But like somebody who's funny you can, and bounce back and forth with, that's great. I dated somebody and I was on stage one time and I'm in, hitting on a woman in the audience, but not really hitting on her, just fucking doing what you do. And she got really angry at me. And I'm like, I don't mean it. Like that wasn't yes, real. It's a joke. Yeah. I mean, I did eventually get caught cheating on her. So she was, <laughs> she was right. It was a piece of shit. Uh, but the fact that she got mad at me for joking, like I just, I, I can't, I could never have married somebody who would get upset at me for fucking around like that. Right, right. It's silly. How do you like being married? Well, it's only a year and a half, and uh, the good news is it didn't change that much. Actually, when we got married, I was terrified, as any comedian is, but she got calmer. She was like, all right, now that we're married, I can chill out a little bit. Uh, So it made it a lot lot smoother. Do you guys want kids? Yeah. Wow. You do, too? Oh, yeah. Ah, Sam? Uh, Yeah, we'll see. Okay. But as a person, you'd like to have them? I think eventually it'd be nice, yeah. I'm fascinated with that. Yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing I want less than a child. Well, here's the thing. I've, I've, I know what you mean, but my friend had kids, and he's like, you don't get the full world experience, full life experience without a kid. And I think when I'm 70, it'd be nice to hang out with some fucking idiot. He might be right. Like, there, there's probably something I'm missing by not doing it. Um, 
but she wants to adopt and i'm like oh you no. would never do that I, I I would literally have a fucking, I'd rather incubate hornets under my toilet seat than adopt a fucking child. What would it take for you to adopt a kid? Like, there's no way? No, there's there's nothing on, or we're talking about uh, how you want kids and I don't. Um, I want to adopt. Yeah. You should compromise and adopt like a 17-year-old. You get one year and you're done. No, like a 12-year-old. Oh. Girl from China because I want your diapers. Well, that's too tempting for a gym. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to do diapers probably another 20 years. (laughs) When you're old? Yes. Yes. How about about you start with like a dog and then you feel it out and you're like, we could could, could get a Korean kid. And I'm going to get that dog now in two weeks. It's going to be the same size as this one. Is Winnie? Yes. It's going to be a toy poodle. Ooh. It's gonna be adorable. I would want a Saint Bernard, but Jim doesn't want dogs that. I don't want something that shits. I, I just don't need it. Like a little dog. I'm, I've agreed. I don't even want a dog, but I'm agreed to a small toy poodle. The thing is, I'm already you pretty, with the poodle is fucking amazing. I, it's like you know how, how gay do we have to look walking through the fucking area? <laughs> pretty faggy. So if I'm gonna get a small dog, it's gonna make me even more fem and faggy. That's so true. if I had a huge dog, uh, like a so you have different man, interests here, yeah. No one would fuck with me. No, I know, but the problem with it, you can't get insurance on these these giant like Dobermans or fucking Rottweilers. You can't insure them. In really? This. But if yeah. I walk in New York with a toy poodle in Spanish Harlem, no one's gonna. Yeah, but we we live in in, in fucking Gramercy. You're not no, gonna I go d- to Spanish I Harlem to walk your go dog. go for a walk. <laughs> the All Spanish right. Harlem. That's a long I've never walk. been. Yeah. Well, then walk yeah. south. Like go on First Avenue and walk the other way. Don't go to Spanish Harlem. Well, I'll be walking New York, and I was planning for it to be a big dog. All right. Well, All right. I'll get a small dog. Well, don't go to Chinatown either. They'll... All right. <laughs> Chinatown <laughs> is bad. <laughs> <laughs> no. There. But yeah. Uh, no, I would not do. I would do a small dog. I've agreed to that. I've kind of like. Yeah, I'm gonna want that dog in a week. You you complain and, and bug me about a dog, and I'm like, I kind of agreed. I'll get a fucking dog. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll do it. Uh, my lady wanted a cat. I was against it. We have a cat. I love the cat. You love it, right? I love the cat. It's we were cat. gonna get a naked cat. Oh, a hairless. But, yeah, but then I learned you have to put them in the sink like once or twice a week because Ugh. they become like a ball sack and yeah. oil up, and you yeah. have to wash and shower them continuously. Yeah. And I don't. We don't need three ball sacks. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Third scrotum in the house is not acceptable. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, a small poodle will be kind of nice, and you can get. Those things, like you open, uh, it's like a, a thing of grass you can get. Mm-hmm. It's like this big, this big, and you can get them every couple you of weeks. it's weird that I have balls? Like the fact that I'm sitting here, and I know it's in 2024. Mm-hmm. I do get that. Is everyone like over it? The fact that I'm in a skirt and balls? Yeah. I think it's we're an it's odd fine, question. Right? It's not like, oh my God, she's sitting here with a penis. Everyone's done with that. I haven't seen your balls yet. So I, think, I think if they drooped out, I'd be like, oh. Ball. No, but you still probably <laughs> feel yeah. that the room has balls. Like a character with balls have entered. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think about the balls. That's true. Yeah. I think about the dong. Yeah. Never yes. thought about the balls. How do you package all that in the uh, panties? No, I don't tuck my dick. I just pull back. Oh, you pull... How you put the panty, because I always wear panties, and then you just kind of pull the panty back instead mm-hmm. of having, like, I would never do tape. Tucking, yeah. they put no. tape, they put baby powder. Yeah. I, I mean, No, I'm not, I'm not going to do a whole ordeal just to, I'd rather have kind of a bulge than kind sure. of not a bulge and tape and terrible Gorilla Glue. <laughs> Yeah, they do yes. weird shit. People do weird shit. Really? On their, yeah. Gorilla glue. They tape rough. those dicks back. And it just, it's, I asked one girl, how do you fly? And she's like, it's uncomfortable. But she do you sits think on her dick that I'm like less, oh. Crazy. Do you think that I'm less of a trans person if I want to keep my balls and dick? Or does that make me just as trans? From a man's perspective. I think it's just a different sect of trans. Some yeah. people like having no dick. Some people want the dick still. I think it's So it's choice. like different flavors. It's like when you order animal style at In-N-Out, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Mix it up. You mix you it go. up. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it matters. You no. Know, you know, if you want to get rid of it, get rid of it. Good. I'd miss you. That's Good burgers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you do you prefer the whole package? One hundred percent. Okay. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. That's part matter. of what attracted you to, to her. Well, it was it was not just like it's one of those things where it's like yeah, sex is important, but like I have fun with Nikki. Like you know what I mean? It's the whole personality thing, and, and she Trying speaks. To get the whole thing in the mouth, boss included. I mean, we don't uh, need to. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffy sounds. 
Um, oh, this adopted kid's gonna be fucked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but just the conversations at the dinner table over the bacon fat. But it's interesting because we are at a point in the world now where it doesn't matter that much. No, no. I look like what I look like, and being in America, it's great to be trans. No one cares. Do you but like being in America? You hear that? I love being in America. Hell yeah! It's the most blessing, freedom, country to be transgender to for me. Thank you. Yes. Tell Twitter, will you? True. <laughs> and it's one. It's also like. Uh, so it's funny that all of these trans activists are doing rallies and with the megaphone here in America. When I where I feel the most liberated, and I come from Norway, I know that Norway is the best country in the world. No one else has okay. to tell me anything. No, but it really <laughs> is. But being trans in America is much better. Hey, all right. Why is Norway what? is nice, but their fucking airport is. From the 1951. Best country in the world. <laughs> it's like not. That. You can't even go through the airport without almost losing all your makeup because they don't have new machines. Well, in they have our uh, X-ray machines from 2003. Well, they missed the dick, maybe. They you do know. miss the dick. All right, so that's good. Yeah, yes. I think you're. Although they don't always miss it. They that, that's a true story not when they stop America. and and Frisker going through the X-ray machine. Uh, now that you have TSA pre-check, a lot of times that doesn't happen mm. because they put you through the other machine. Yes. But when you were going through the regular machine, they would actually stop her because they would see well, it on the They would expert. always have to forcefully feel my dick, but I didn't mind. I just said it's okay. Yeah. I, and I tell them I'm transgender. Yeah. So what, what, what did they say usually? Just we have to swap you something. Like they point at my crotch on the x-ray because it's red. So right. they point at it and I'm like... I'm transgender. It's uh, why it's there's a penis. Yeah. And what do they do? <laughs> woo, woo. They just, um, well, one woman actually, she was like down on her knees and then it turns out to be red and she's like, what's this? As she's on her knees. And I'm like, oh, um, uh, I have a penis. I'm transgender. And she just like became really weird. Oh. And she goes right up from her knees. And she's like, hold on. I'm going to get you someone else. And then you orgasm. And you're like, you have liquids. <laughs> no, my heart, <laughs> my heart just sank. And I was like, oh, no. I hope she didn't think that I was fantasizing about getting my dick sucked oh. when she's on the floor. I was thinking about she it. Probably, <laughs> yeah, she probably didn't go that far. No, but I way. panicked. I, I'm like, oh, my God. I hope it didn't seem like that. I have a yeah. dick. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> oh, no. That's how I it. feel in the world, to be honest, to that it. I have a dick. Get to it. Yes. It's kind yeah. of like a mob feeling. It feels more like you happen to have a dick. Yes. It makes me feel higher than. And you but, kind of get the best of both worlds because you're an attractive blonde you. with a big hog. You yes. kind of got big dick energy and you get the feminine treatment. Thank you. That's I nice. I feel position. like most of my followers have looked at me as a Viking queen and Valkyrie with a penis. There you go. Like like uh, Odin. But I couldn't have, I couldn't marry somebody also that didn't speak English well, just because the communication is important. Like I forget sometimes that it's her second language. Like we'll argue about yes. something, and she'll be like uh, not grabbing a word. I'm like, oh fuck! Like I keep forgetting that English is not. But isn't first my language. English wonderful? It's good. To have Very learned good. English. Very good. I'm I learned it online. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I knew great English before I met Jim. How did you learn it? I played video games. No. Nah. And you were talking to people on, on wow, that's, oh, yes. that's How were the insults? You fucking tranny. Many insults. <laughs> okay. Do they know though or you don't tell them? <laughs> if I'm a tranny? Yeah, like when you're playing, when you're doing video games. Well, usually they would know. So you say that word. Is it like the N word where you guys are allowed to no, say I lo it? No, exactly. Okay. And I love that word. I love the tranny word. No. But do you get offended it, if other people say it? No, oh, not at oh, all. Okay. Yeah. No, but that I really don't. I really don't. I think it's a great word. I love the tranny word. It's a cute word. I'm here as a transsexual, trans. I just, it doesn't feel the same. Yeah, sometimes they'll say I'm a tranny. Sometimes they'll say I'm trans. It doesn't really matter to mm. me. Yeah, I grew up, uh, my nanny was tra a trans Transvestite, yes. which is what we called it in the '90s. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of pushback. For well, there's that. a difference though. The, the transvestites are real people. They okay, are exactly, but they're like, you don't say that word anymore. I'm like, well, what do you call them? What if, what if it's a guy who just dressed like a woman? That is a transvestite. That's what it was. Who doesn't live as a woman? Who doesn't take hormones? That's a transvestite. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Or a CD. And I've also seen very many cases now of people who have gone through the whole surgery and been like transgender people for their whole lives, but are now that I know coming back to being a boy again. Oh. So it's like, is this a mental thing? Is this a diagnosis? Is this something that should be evaluated right. by? Do mean, how did they come back? Detransitioning. Right? Detransition and change wow. the gender now to go back from a boy, but they have the vagina, so now it's like a tunnel, and they're still doing the transitioning. Now 
to go back. Oh no! But with yeah. the wound from the sexual one tunnel Jews don't want to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so possible. that's just why yeah. I feel like trans people should be okay with being called hmm. uh, trans, tranny, transgender. For me, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, you yeah. got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I mean, look, it's one of those things where, like, the if, if it's if it's going to get you a lot of shit, is am I saying something that I care about, like where that word actually matters? Then I'll say it. But it's like it's like the N word. It's almost like unless I'm making a point that is so strong that requires that word, it's not worth no, it's, the bullshit it's you a hear. Good, sure. like the N word, because I do feel it's not the same, but like it's, it is my own word, trying in a way. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Yes. But I don't, I don't, you know, it doesn't offend me. I don't care. Do you feel like the media is suppressing some of the detransitioning stuff? You know, that's a good I question. Like, I feel like they're praising them more than normal transgender people. Well, it, yeah, I can see that. Are they suppressing detransitioning horror stories? Yes. Probably well, well, because it doesn't look go with a certain. crazy though. Like, I feel like if you do transition, they make them look really nuts. But maybe it is. I do think that being transgender is a mental thing. Mm. And when I lived in Norway, you couldn't just get hormones. If there's a one year test where you have to live as female or opposite for a whole year. And if you don't succeed that, the state's not going to give you hormones. No. It's not like that in, in the United States. I don't know if they're suppressing. I don't know if they're but suppressing. why shouldn't it be like that? I don't know if they're suppressing. But I don't read that many detransition stories, but I know there are. They're out there. People who do. So maybe they That's do. That's going to be brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm never getting the surgery just because it's like a wound. And yeah. you have to treat it as a wound. You have mm -hmm. to put up the dilator and the pussy every single day. And he don't, you don't want that. No. You don't want a fake What that. would you do if I got a pussy? You would leave Miss me. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look, I, I would still love you. No matter what you did like that, like it's one of those things where you still love the person, but I mean, uh, I I'm wouldn't want to be married. I'm in a situation where like whatever I do, the topic trans is always going to come up, but that's just what it is. I'm fine yeah. with that. No, but sometimes you do mention it. Like we were just sitting here talking about dogs and you went, uh, do you mind if I have balls? <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lot of people should take it up that way. My balls, the balls, it just makes it all <laughs> very yeah, weird. It's, it's, it's lighthearted and fun. Yeah, but dogs yeah. don't get to choose that they lose their balls. You know, That's that true. is a good point. Yeah. Good point. But they have to, or they fuck up the whole right, house. They fuck up every. And just as a woman, think uh, this dog. <laughs> is that? I, I want a male dog true. because female dogs have periods, right? And they bleed all over. Don't they get their no, fucking? I, I, they do all kinds of surgery. I don't want oh. a male dog, but our dog is going to be a transgender. Oh, nice. It's going to be a male, but it's going to have a, a girl's name. Ugh. Oh, there you go. So it's humiliating. Keep the balls. Uh, yes. No, we got to get rid of the. She balls. Her pronoun. <laughs> yeah. We got to get rid of the balls. Um, but I do want to do it. Like no, I'm, I'm not, not getting rid of the balls. Yes, you are. I'm not going to have the dog in heat all the time and fucking. I don't want that. That's true. They're very aggressive. <laughs> and they're aggressive, right? If they have still a ball. Yeah, yeah. We took the cats out. You did. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're supposed. Someone with bestiality wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, yeah. but we're not. Take take the balls off. We're not filming a fucking <laughs> porno. We're just we have a dog that we love. But I am actually looking forward to getting it. Well, I, I had said no for years, but I'm like, I want it. Pete is fun. calling in right now. They're upset. No, they probably want you to get the balls taken off. Yeah, probably. They do. They're like always spay and neuter and get the fucking, get the nuts <laughs> taken right, off. Easy, Bob Barker. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, that was his whole thing. I, it really was his whole thing. Yeah. yeah. That was a weird little thing you had at the end. He's like grabbing the, the ladies on the ass. He's <laughs> yeah. selling hunt days. He's got the big wheel. And he's like, by the way, cut your dog's dick off. Yeah. <laughs> Pull I'm, that up. Yeah, I miss Bob Barker. And his I, name was Barker. Yeah. Which I never put together. I, I never did until you just said it either. Sometimes the name is really... Yeah, it's like Anthony Weiner. It's all in the name. Yeah. Bernie Madoff. Yeah. yeah Bernie Madoff. I never thought you of never that either. That no. Come on. Never. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Bernie Madoff. I, I never caught that. Come on. Does Drew Carey keep it going? Does he say that? Oh, yeah. good question. Yeah. Probably not. No, I no. Doubt He's like, let your dogs fuck. He hated Bob Barker. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he must have been a poon hound, Bob Barker. Oh yeah. He must have been fucking those. those he was fucking one of them. They sued too. One of the models, I think, sued because Bob. He was a game show host of The Price Is Right. It was fucking one of them. Um, and yeah, and she's like, she felt pressured into it or something. Yep, I remember that. I don't know what happened actually with the uh, lawsuit. How about Richard Dawson? He would smooch the shit out Kiss of kiss everyone. Hello love yes hello love 
Then he blew his brains out. No, that was Ray oh, Combs. Was... Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Richard Dawson died, but he, Ray Combs killed himself. Blew. Got it. Hung himself, by the way. Whoa. Oh, he hung, he hung thought, himself. I he yes. shot himself. Huh? I'm almost positive he hung himself. Am I incorrect yeah, about that, right. Matthew? I might be no, wrong. Oh, yeah, he hung himself. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. No, I think he bashed his head into a wall. No. I understand way. the feeling being married, but. <laughs> 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 Wow. Um, did he hang himself or no? Death. Yeah, that's um, a good question. Uh, let's see. Glendale. I thought it was a hanging. I could be wrong. 40 years is not very old. No, he was a young guy. His son was a comic. Yeah, he was. I met him. He was a nice guy. Oh, yeah. uh, hung. Oh, I'm just thinking of your wife. <laughs> All right, <so>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you got here? I'm almost there. Hold on. Yeah, that's a weird um, curse to Family Feud. Like, Louis Anderson had that fucked up thing. You hear about that? What? He was a... He's dead now. Yeah. So he's a closeted gay. Yes. And he would... Was he closeted? Sorry. Was he? Was he pretty closeted, I guess so, yeah. Because yeah. he was on, like, cartoons and family okay. stuff. Okay. I family. thought everybody knew, but... So then he was he was hooking up with this guy in Vegas, and then the Vegas guy was just some kind of gigolo, you know, <laughs> drifter guy, and he would blow him in his van every night after a show, and then the guy was like, wait, you're on TV? You got to give me 10 grand or I'm going to tell uh, the media. And he was like, oh, okay, here's 10 grand. Two months later, you know what? Give me another 10 grand. I'm telling the media. After like $4 million, he eventually was like, just tell him. And he told the media. What a piece of shit. Yeah. What a yeah. fucking piece of shit. Piece of garbage. Wow. You got, but you got to, if somebody wants to out you like that, you just got to the first time go, first of all, you, you, one person tried that with me. With It was just dirty talking. And they were like, your fantasies. I'm like, everyone knows. I'm like, I don't give oh, a fuck. Yeah. This is yours. I was single. I'm like, go ahead. Tell people. Right. And you've just threatened to blackmail me, you dumb fuck. Right. Like, people are so stupid. Like, if somebody- Who was this person? Oh, it was just a person I, I knew. I mean, it's somebody I knew very briefly. Judy Gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to jump up and grab her vag and like, oh. She's like, I'm going to tell everybody that you like pussy too. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that someone said they were going to out you to the meet. I mean, uh, years ago, and, and, but it was somebody who probably didn't even know I was a comic. Like, you know what I mean? They, now they you knew are I did. the first mainstream person, I would say, to marry a transgender. I would say so too. Yeah. I would literally say so. I've looked up people in the best who's married a transsexual. Yeah, there's no. There's got to be someone else. It's it has Jim to Norton. You're the Jackie Robinson of trans. Yeah. <laughs> So I looked up Ray Combs. We were both right. On June 1st, 1996, he was hospitalized for banging his head against the wall. The next day, June 6th, June 2nd, 1996, he hung himself Boom. in that hospital wow. with bed sheets. I wonder what was so wrong that he, like, was he just, me like, was he mentally ill or was there something I, going on? Depression. Yeah. Depression, yeah. Bipolar yeah. or something. Was he getting fired from the show? Let's see. I'd love to ask you something. Like, not to, to mention a painful thing, but like, like what drove him to do that? Yeah, yeah. like the look up the reasons for suicide. Money is sometimes like mm. said uh, two years earlier he was in a severe car accident where he had mm. there it is mm. uh, physical pain and head, head trauma. And I bet you you also get hooked on something too. Yes, Pills, yes. Plus depression. How many drinking. kids did he have? How many kids? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Uh oh. After uh, a lot of times after injuries, people get hooked on oxycotton, yep. cotton, or whatever the fuck it Children is. Children six. Six wow. kids. Wow. Family feud. All that family feud money going right out the window. They could have. They could have <laughs> had two <laughs> different kids. teams. He had so many fucking kids. <laughs> yeah. He was forty years old. Jeez. Yeah. Christ. Forty. Yeah. Well, young guy. A lot of kids for forty. Yeah. Guy was working. That's a lot of fucking. Ba -da -ba -da. Good for him. Ba -da -ba. What were we just talking about before Ray Calm? We were just chatting about Barker. No, 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 no. Mark is, it was. Uh, oh, you're the Jackie Robinson. No, before uh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Hold on, <laughs> dog balls. Peter <laughs> Salacuse, anything we nothing. Nah, I don't remember. Ray we Combs. Before Ray Coombs. Coombs. Oh, Louis Anderson. Yes, I. Blackmail. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't even black. It was just oh. somebody, somebody one time. I think they're probably drunk. Said like it, it was very brief. Yeah, and it went away quickly. Did he ever? come out before I don't died. think he did and I loved Louis Anderson he gave me my first uh what my first real TV spot which was the Louis Anderson show what? in 1997 that's how I met Dice changed my life in wow. too. I, I was out there doing a seven minute clean was set a nice man he was a wonderful guy and uh, I was doing the Louis Anderson show and his <laughs> opener was Dice's opener so she introduced me to Andrew and he took me clothes like furniture shopping and whatever my anyway Lu being on wow. Louis Anderson's show changed my the course of my career and my really? life and I met Opie and Anthony eventually yeah so I love love loved was Louis he Anderson a? Louis Anderson no no, no, no. But he was just a sweet. No one didn't like him. Yeah. And the fact that someone was blackmailing poor Louis Anderson. Did he really lose four mil out of this? I mean, I might have. It was two mil, something like Charlie that. Charlie Sheen, I think, lost a lot of money because he had said that somebody blackmailed him for millions because he had HIV. Uh, um, 
So and he never really came back to world after that. He did a little bit, but not much. I think he had the series, but maybe that was done by then. But he's always been kind of like in the gray zone now. Yeah. Right? Did he ever do uh, the show with you or no? Charlie? Yeah. No, I've never met Charlie. Um, I've met I Emilio and Mark. Charlie Sheen is one of those last individuals who are very real. Mar yes, I partied. Yes, I did drugs. And what? Yeah, porn star. Martin Sheen, his father is the nicest celebrity I've ever met. Like, mm. uh, Emilio Estevez came in with him one time, not to uh, to me, but to Sirius. And my manager knows Emilio very well, so Emilio introduced me to his father. And he's, he, I've never met a warmer, wow. famous person than Martin Sheen. And cool. you know he's a nice guy, because he's the guy who's always hugging trees, like long before it was yeah. fucking fashionable yes. in Hollywood. That's right. That's Martin was doing hair. it. Yeah, yeah, he's the father. Yeah. And he was doing it long before any of these other people in Hollywood had like causes. It was Martin Sheen. Damn. What a fucking wonderful guy he is. And most of these hookers that did fuck Charlie Sheen is very proud of that to this day. Yeah, yeah. he's a cool dude. Of course. Yeah, Tiger I mean, blood. yeah, you can't, you can't be afraid of it. You just gotta say, yeah, it happened. I did it. So what? Oh yeah. Poor Louis. I didn't like know he was dealing Trump with that. Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. I mean, he should have. I admitted. wish he would have just said that he fucked her. Because yeah. he would have just. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. If he just said yes, I fucked her, I would have been like. He couldn't but. say that though because his wife was pregnant at the time. Ooh. You there's one once in a while you can't admit it, and Melania was pregnant, so there's no way for him to go like, yeah, it happened. Right. I still wish he went. I fucked Stormy Daniels, and what? Came out anyway. Yeah, his wife would have looked really bad. And that's probably why he kept denying. I didn't do it. Do you guys think that Trump is going to win? Probably, but probably. I mean, you know, who knows? I think yes. Yeah. The swing states. Who the fuck? No, I, I'm not good with anything. I think stuff, most likely he will. Look, yeah, he might. He's up by three right now. I think. It's is like he? when John. Remember when John Edwards got a lot of shit for he. His wife wasn't pregnant. She was dying of cancer. Oh. He was oh. that woman. Mm. Yeah, there's certain times you got to say I didn't do it. I guess. Yeah. Did he deny it or did he say he did it? I think he denied it at first, and then it was like I think they always deny it at first. Just wait a week, she'll be dead. Yeah. Just <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Crazy. I yeah. think he probably was waiting. He was like, "What's taking her?" Yeah. Shit? What the yeah. fuck? She's well, responding well to up. therapy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go fuck the babysitter. <laughs> but, but you know, no, I think I think if your advice is always to deny it first. Man, you have to at first. Yeah. You have to. I don't respect anyone that immediately. Do admits. you think that JD Vance is gay friendly? Hey, hey, folks! Fume. We might be drunk. Is brought to you by Fume. We all have bad habits of beating yourself up and doing something to change them. Fume is an award-winning flavored air device. Mint, I think, right here. Hold on, I got. Oh, oh, oh. oh, are they different? Are they different? Fume, uh, awesome. It's got awesome flavors. Crisp mint, orange vanilla. Give you something else to focus on that isn't a bad habit. It's not a vape, so you can use it anywhere. There's no nicotine, and it isn't addictive. That's Take that good. puppy on the plane. Get a little oral fixation. Woo, that is delightful. This is good. I need something like this. I I'm should a do fidgety. This. Yeah, I won't smoke anymore. Yes. Bring, bring this in your pocket when you're drinking. Now you don't have the, the worst hangover on the planet from the SIGs. Fume takes safety super seriously. They're constantly investing in third-party studies to ensure the safety of their products. And even backed by doctors in the U.S., Fume has served over 300,000 customers. And you can be the next success story, even when he likes it. For a limited time, <laughs> use code DRUNK. Get a free gift with your journey pack. Head to fume.com slash drunk. That's try Fume. Dot com slash drunk. Sorry, T R Y F U M dot com slash drunk and use drunk to get a free gift with your order today. I mean, I don't no. know. I don't think so. Doesn't look gay. Look at those eyes. Beautiful Deep eyes. Deep hollow. I'll just say, I do not think he's gay friendly. No. no. No, no, no. Look oh. at that guy. Not at all. No. Yeah. Does he look like he supports gays? I don't think no. so. No. But a lot of those guys who are so anti gay are just literally I just look, don't, look like they're dying for a I dick in their mouth. I just don't want anyone's dying. religion to govern upon me. Religion should be out of the politics. What about Buddha? He looks like he hates gays. And I don't care what anyone says. I feel it. I feel his pull up, anti. Pull, type in JD Vance. Gay. Gays. Uh, look. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Buttigieg, uh, I don't know if I like him though. Like I he's like gay, him, but I, I don't like know if he's him. a good transportation I don't secretary. Know anything about well, that's him. true. That's true. And Trump, ten years ago, had a Miss Universe contest where a trans person won the contest, and like the jury was trying to get the trans person off the board, and Donald Trump goes, "No, she's she's a winner." Whoa! So when that happened, and when he said that, I personally, as person to person, I go, "You know what? 
I would vote for Trump any day, any other day. <laughs> and I'm not a Trump, Trump, Trump supporter. I'm just saying when he said that, I was like, oh, wow, what could, a great thing to say. Can we see the trans winner? Sorry, I, was I, looking at I, I, I know you got eight tabs open yeah. that are going to ruin your life later. No, it's amazing. But, uh, it's wonderful. What do you want? When Donald Trump said that there was a Miss, Miss Universe and a trans uh, woman won the contest, Miss Universe. I hope you get this wrong and he actually just threw her out. No, it's 100%. <laughs> he called her and a then, pig. And then yeah. look up Trump. He look, threw her into the parking lot. You're a lot. man. Yeah. You're a man. <laughs> You've always man. been a man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's hot. Both of them are hot. Yeah, Miss very Miss Universe, lovely. transgender Trump. Which one is she? Okay, transgender. That is oh. the question. Is she on the, the right or left? Yes, yeah, she won. Oh, she won the whole thing. And he overruled it. Ooh. He Whoa. allowed it. He allowed it. He allowed yeah. it. What's her talent? Peeing in the snow? Oh, he overrules uh, rejection of yes. transgender beauty queen. I yeah. remember her. But this is, again, 12 yes. years ago. 12, oh, 2012. Yeah. 2012. He exactly. would govern, but he would govern like a person who's anti-trans, even though personally I don't think he gives a fuck. Yeah. I'm just saying when he said uh, that with his point. own voice, I was just like, okay. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't hate gay people. I don't think he cares. Nah, well, just by doing that, he did more for LGBT than Biden did. Yeah. I think he's against the blockers, though. Yeah, when you're kids. For kids. Yeah, which is understandable. For kids. Yeah. I yeah. only believe in puberty blockers for kids if you don't tell them you're doing it. Where like just the, as a goof, the as a fun experiment. BT <laughs> party, they want 13 and 14 year olds to be able to do SRS with their parents' um, signature. SRS? Sexual reassignment S surgery. Sexual oh, reassignment surgery. How crazy is that? Yeah. Wow. But what do you, yeah, how do you feel like... What age should that type of stuff? No, I think about? you need a diagnosis in place first and foremost. Who, and who diagnoses this? Like what kind uh, of doctor? Uh, it would have to be a doctor. Like in Norway, you go to the national security, like the national hospital, and you go there, and they have three people. They have a psychologist, they have an endocrinologist, and then they have a psychologist, and they all talk. You said psychologist you know, twice. Two psychologists. Therapist, psychologist, oh, uh, endocrinologist. Okay. And they all do interviews with you. I think it should be like that in the states too, because. Of course, being trans is a mental thing. Mm. I don't wake up every day and feel completely normal. If depression is a mental illness, how is transgender not? Ooh. Of course it is. Of course it is. Mm. And I'm very fine with that. Yeah. Well, hey, welcome to comedy. You're yes, you're we're all mentally Ill, Ill, and I think we should embrace that. Here, here. Not trying to be pure. Who is that? So on the right here is the Miss Universe trans woman, and on the left is Donald Trump's daughter. Wow. Yes, my daughter is going to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A trans, that, woman he likes, though. That's the girl on the right that won? That's what it says. Yes, I think... Huh. Um, she Asian? She's okay. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say... No, she winner. was... No, nah, not winner. She was pretty for 10 years ago. Oh. I'm looking at her, though. She's okay. <laughs> I'll okay. sound like a bitch for saying that, but she was very... It's pretty. like judging a white guy in the NBA in the 60s. <laughs> 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 like, it, back then, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> she was beautiful yeah. back then. No, yeah. I didn't like that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mark, do you have a new joke about that? What? About trans in the 80s? Oh, that's an old joke, but I just say uh, trans women look amazing now. They're so hot. It's like a video game. You're like, that looks great. But in the 90s, the graphics were rough. Yeah. You know, it was basically Miss Pac-Man. Yes, Not Jim would know. He, and he would analyze from his niece. Yeah. <laughs> Working the joystick. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, I was old school. I was I was in on it long before it became popular. Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about that? I feel like a lot of people will kind of like try to speak for you, but you actually this is the life you actually live. Do, does it annoy you? Nah, like you, yeah. I mean, nobody fucks with me about it. People know that I don't care if they like it or not. So yeah. I think when people know that you don't care if they like it, there's nothing for them to push against. Because I'm not trying to force my life on people. Good point. Like you, we live our life, we put videos out, but none of it is this boring messaging that people are doing. We just no. want people to watch. And if you enjoy us, then watch more of it. If you don't, don't. But we're, right. not, we're not trying to teach any fucking lessons. Here, here. Like, date the person you want. That's the only lesson I would say is marry the person that you actually love. And if they're trans, this is what it looks like. It's yeah. like any other marriage. I, I, I think there needs to be a sitcom for this. Like, I think you need to make a sitcom about this because I see the videos and they're funny. And Thank like, you. I think... Everyone's pushing this thing like you know we need a new type of show. Well, this story's never been told before. Well, the on, reason on TV they don't. Well, the thing about us that's unappealing to people is that we're not messaging. Uh, like you know what I mean. Like you look at people in our business that do really well. They're always going out there going, "This is how you have to feel." And but we're not doing that. We're just kind of yeah. we don't. That's what I like. To me, that's way more refreshing. Yeah, I think that's how most people respond. But again, our business is a very weird mentality. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but no, I won't. I, I I think eventually we'll wind up doing something. 
thing. You got to do it. And do it on your own because the suits will come in and go, hey, we need to say this more and push that more. And that's what's going to ruin it. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't. I, I love our interaction, the way she jokes about her dick. Like, I, I, I would never want that not to be a part of our. Yeah. The balls comment at a dinner with parents and stuff. That's gold. It's like that's... you don't want people afraid to talk around you. Like around her, nobody's afraid to say something. Oh, I might say something wrong. She doesn't give a shit. Like that's <laughs> right. Yeah. But that's how it should be when you. Yeah. Yes. Here, here. So, yeah, we'll do something eventually when, as soon as somebody uh, is interested. You're a sweet man. Thanks. So, Jim, if it's not disrespectful in front of your wife, can you tell us about the meatpacking district in the 90s? The meatpacking district in the 90s. Not disrespectful at all. No. Um, that was, uh, which is now the, the, oh, this fucking, all this influx of money ruined it. I know, uh, it appeared. Oh, it used to be so great. You'd ride around at 2 o'clock in the morning, and all the fucking trans girls were out there. It was fun. It was, hi, dad, waving dicks. Uh, Everybody was. Birds uh, and dicks. That's uh, great. I've told the story many times, but it's where I got my fucking glasses taken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got my fucking glasses <laughs> snatched because I wouldn't pick the one girl up and I had to pretend that I didn't know she was trans. You know, Because <laughs> the cop pulled me over. He goes, you know, that's a fucking guy. I'm like, all right, I don't know. Uh, and then my glasses. Like, yeah, my glasses. And the cop got my glasses back for me. Yeah, it's humiliating. He's covered in <laughs> jizz. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was strudel. I'm half blind for Pete's sake. <laughs> so what does what a whore go for back in the, in the was it the 90s? Back in the uh, the early the 90s. I queued up to 2015. Uh, <laughs> 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 Wait, when did I meet you? Two days before I met her. <laughs> I didn't know they were still going back then. <laughs> no, they weren't. It start, I want to say it stopped in the mid 2000s because I stopped actually going out when I started doing like a real radio show in the morning. So mm. the early 2000s, I would ride around all night, listen to Joe Beningo and fucking uh, and just look at trans girls and fucking, you know, the radio show was off the air. We got fired. Um, so I would say back then between 20 and 50 or 80, it depend on who you were oh, seeing. That's or, cheap. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it cost back in those days. And I would just yeah. see like one or two regular people that yeah. I knew. You know. Okay, and then you get you blow them, or they blow you, or how does that work? Whatever you were in for in, in the mood for in the moment, you always had to be careful of diseases. And yeah, shit like that. yeah. So, you know, were you ever nervous about that? Sure. After, yeah. um, you know, you know when you're nervous about that when the fucking car windows rolled out and you're spitting out of it and trying to fucking gargle with Lavoris, like I hope <laughs> hope alcohol kills AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I would never marry Jim if he had AIDS or HIV. Yeah. Yeah, there's See, a- you always say the sweet shit. That's why, <laughs> no. that's why I love you. Save it for the vows. <laughs> but there are people who have it. There are more people that even have HIV than I think people know about. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, that's but I all have right. to be honest that's and not to make sheen. people with HIV sad. If someone wants to have sex with me and tells me they have HIV, it's I'm sorry. That's we're pretty not, fair. We're not going to yeah. have that's sex. Not it's funny. The thing that wouldn't stop is not being married would stop her. It's like if they had, but but if they had AIDS, out of respect for my husband, I wouldn't do it. I like that she said that. Like that separates her from the rest of the group. It here. was like it, I'm like you know what? I'm down to fucking AIDS. <laughs> I'm, I'm down to get some AIDS. But I've heard so. that before, and she does say it, like you do say it like it's this amazing crazy thing like. Guys, if you had HIV, I wouldn't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, that won't matter. I mean, now you can kind of handle it with medication. I have like, never I- had an STD. Oh, really? Like, Must be nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no chlamydia, no nut, no none never. Of the quick, quick ones to get rid of. Wow, never. well done. Yes. Yeah, and AIDS I was is not with a-, a sexual partner once who had chlamydia, but then he only licked my balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get That's it. Beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Well, I jerked off. Yeah. It's all. It's it's crazy how many Hallmark card things she said. <laughs> yes. no, but he That's how I fell in I love. Have chlamydia, and I'm like, okay, and I start to like. You know, throw things around in my head, and I'm like, okay, lick my balls. Yeah, that's the see the stud. That if you don't have a tear falling down, you're not you're not a person. (laughs) (laughs) This is all going on lifetime. Yeah, it sure is. Maybe that's why they don't want to give us a show. (laughs) What we talk about? How about a little mess? So I did know that in the moment, maybe there could have been a little lick that would have flown this way, and maybe I would have gotten chlamydia. But I took a chance, and well, I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Well, the ball skin is very tough. Yeah, ball skin is very, very. Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like elephant skin. Yeah, you can fucking pull it. I remember <laughs> you, you do. That. That's how you scratch. Anthony Cumia oh. pointed that out, and I never <laughs> forgot the genius of him pointing out the pinch and roll when you have to itch your balls. The pinch and roll. The pinch and roll when you itch your <laughs> balls. Yeah. That's an Anthony. Uh, I didn't uh, know about that. What does that mean? When pinch you scratch it, it, you don't. You don't. See, Itch with your fingernails and your balls. Oh, yeah. You kind of pinch and roll and it a little why bit like is dough. There a thing that we sniff our balls. They I s- do this too. I do it. 
It's I, such a fascinating scent. It's a different it scent. It is, like, but that's like if there's a list of things someone doesn't want to hear their wife say, that would be <laughs> that's probably number one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I bet if a guy was knocked out, you know, they have smelling salts. I bet if I had a jog day and I did a little taint. Oh act, I yeah, bet I would wake that dude. Guy I up. did. I did the smelling salts for the first time. Oh, did you do that at Rogan's Club? It did. Yeah. He has them. Yeah. I, I I did. I was in the green room and. Uh, I was kind of, the, the coffee machine wasn't working, and they were like, do the smelling salts. And I was like, yeah. And I'm kind of picking everyone's brain for sure. how to do it. And everyone's kind of like, yeah, yeah, just do it. I, I didn't realize you're not supposed to put it like right here. Oh, it burns. Dude, I was fucking dying. And I had I literally felt like the biggest pussy because Rogan, I was like, am I having an allergic reaction? He's uh, like, no, you're fine. You're fine. How long did that last? <sighs> Too long. Like a few minutes. For okay. Sure. And did it make you more alert for the set? I mean, yeah, the next couple hours I was rocking, but for a good 10 minutes, I was like, just tears just dripping out. Oh, yeah. You should hold it here and just take a little sniff, right? Did it change you, though, wavelength-wise in your brain? He's I don't gay. know. <laughs> <laughs> he can't come without smelling salts under his nose. <laughs> I, I didn't like it, man. I, I, I was like... I, I, it's hell. When we, we did the Burt Fully Loaded thing and, and the ice bath, I was like, that I fucking like. I like yeah. That. Yeah, that was cool. For, did it make you feel like awake or like did it heal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but this shit's ice. The the smelling salts. Thanks. How long did you do it for? The ice bath. It. I I do like a minute. Oh, that's, yeah. that's not bad. That's impressive. What do you, well, Bert was doing like three. Three minutes is pretty much the standard. We would did there was this uh, place in Norway we went to where they have the ice the the plunge and I we could each do it for like ten seconds. I can't do it anymore. It's freezing. That. I mean, it's freezing. I go in for a minute. But you feel wow. awesome after it. Uh, yeah, you yeah. feel good that you did. How long would you say? A minute. Wow. <laughs> that's not true. She just lied. She doesn't do it for a minute. She does it for as long as I do, which is about 10 seconds. That's what I can do. 30 seconds. You did it longer than me, but not by much. But the ice bath is the closest you you come to losing a dick. I mean, that really... Thing, <laughs> yes. It's gone. Yeah, I mean, her shrivels down to six. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I don't think I could sit there. If they were sponsoring me, I probably could. But, like, Joe will sit there for three minutes. <laughs> if they sponsored. Yeah, of course. If they wanted to pay us on the podcast. Uh, I'd be like, sure, I'd be delighted to sit there for three minutes and then just cut it real quick. They're still uh, fucking cool, though. Apparently, the uh, health benefits are great. Unless you have a heart attack. That's true. No, it How makes you feel Russian doing it. There you go. There's also cryotherapy, which everyone was high on for a while, and everybody kind of stopped talking about cryotherapy. Oh, What's that? My it's wife like, does that. She cries does for she? hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. She's all right. You know? Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, what is that? Cryotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing like IV bars and stuff now, where you I've, can go in and just get like a fast. That's a great idea. IV injection Probably vitamin vitamins and or stuff. whatever Probably vitamin I do that B. stuff sometimes like when, does if it I, work if I'm like oh, yeah. if I'm like just kicking a cold it'll, it'll get or, or I'm starting to get one I'll yeah I'll, vitamin B or do you see or do you use just, the, just like an immune boost save like a thing of, yeah vitamin B vitamin oh. C who do you call yeah. for that doctor or a nurse comes I'll, over I got a person whose number and I you do the you. IV right yeah I love that shit. Everyone, very rarely but if I'm if I have big yeah, shit I, I have to do, if I have like a road gig here. and I'm like, I'm yeah. hurting. Yeah. Wow. And also, a thing I've noticed you Americans do is that you started to snooze. Yeah. Which That's is that. so weird for me to watch as a Norwegian because no one knew about this other than the Scandinavians. Um, snooze. What's the brand called? Zin. 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 Oh, Zin. Yeah. And it's Huge. so popular now, and everyone did that in Norway since I was oh, really? five Isn't it years different? old. So I'm just. Yeah. So but it's, it's just nicotine. It's not tobacco. Yes, right? but it's very interesting. Is it nicotine? I think no, it's nicotine. This is Scandinavian. Is. Uh, this is what wow. we're built you know, baseball upon. Baseball players, they yes. all had like fucking cancer yeah. in their mouth. Tobacco. Of course. That's yeah. disgusting. This is very oh. Scandinavian. So I'm taking notes. Interesting. That chew and their fucking oh, yeah. spit it out. I can't believe it made it to America, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's huge now. All the frat guys are doing for the last two three years has been huge right yeah i tried I, I couldn't <laughs> get that shit. Oh. so nasty that, that is kind of fucking like, disgusting it's like norton after a visit oh. on the <laughs> <West Side Highway>. <laughs> 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 i was like oh blood in that one and the best is when i reverse the tape it goes in <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> well what, what does that iv go for 250 Around it's so expensive. Yeah, but I just want to. Kick. It's like it's worth it. What you is your feel... health worth when you're trying to do a fucking performance? I want to. I want to give a good show. Yeah, sure, sure. But you do feel like the elite. Yes. Even the place though, yeah. your whole body is proper. Yes. Up. You're yeah. ready to conquer the world. You're full of vitamins. Yeah. You don't really give a shit. I know. I for sure wouldn't. Do they come to you? Yeah. Yeah. That's even better. It's I nice. want to try it. They're nice. They come. We've to your been apartment. doing the sea moss. The who? 
sea moss. Oh yeah, we've been eating sea moss. It's this thing that was on Shark Tank, and uh, this this trainer I know does it. It's it's like it's actually not bad. It flavored sea moss. Where it takes like a month and a half, two months to get it because they harvest it and they put like uh, I have uh, el, el, uh, el, elderberry is the flavor elderberry. I like, mm. but it's really good and the health benefits are supposed to be pretty intense. Okay, Damn, wait, save that. I want to remember. Yeah, this. Sea true moss. sea moss really superfood. Yeah, and All you do right. it's like a vitamin or what do you do? Kind of. You take like a spoonful. Two, a spoonful. Two spoonfuls. I take really? one in, in water or what? No, no, just spoon out of the jar. Oh, okay. is it yeah. like a honey a texture? It's jelly. A gel. It's kind of yeah, like they a jello. Different like oh, flavors. Weird. But okay. I think there's no sugar in it. They, like, however they flavored, it's not. Wasn't sugar. it like an MMA guy who put you on that? Yeah, yeah. He's one of the. Tri- I I I taken jujitsu for a while. Uh. He's one of the guys at the one of the trainers uh. at the gym. Oh, dude, I don't know if I've mentioned this in the pod. Stop me if I have. But there's this app called Yuka. Y U K A. Have I told you this? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's you. You just uh, you scan stuff in the grocery store. The barcode it tells you if it's got like hazardous. Oh, you know, like cancer uh, shit. Yeah, like uh, fuck. What are they called? Like. Uh, it, it, it'll be like ranked zero to a hundred. So it'll be like, you know, you want 70 and up, but some mm. shit, it's amazing. Some like of the stuff. Preservatives and additives and stuff. Oh yeah. Some harmful additives. So you do the QR code. Yeah. You do the, uh, mm. you do the, the, yeah, just what they scan in the grocery store. Yeah. The so wait, 70, uh, the higher is better. Yeah. You want it to be like 90, you get like a, like a Greek yogurt, no sugar. It's like, it'll be like 94, but then you, some milks you think are good. It's just all, sh- it's all bullshit. Wow. Even if the ones that are low sugar, it's like, got a, it'll be like 42. And I'm like, oh shit, I drink this every day. You know, can you check? Like, can you say, I want to look for things with like, I want no sugar or I want no this, or I want no that and have it narrow that stuff down. Or does it just uh, give you one? I thing? think it can give you alts. I think it can give you but yeah I, I, you got to pay for it i just do the free one but it uh, dude i i found you just find stuff that you're like this is better for you it's crazy Man. yeah i'm trying to like get like less sugar and stuff because yeah. i'm fucking fat now or fatter because of the food like surely she can eat whatever she wants and not put weight on and i can't Boy. so i'm just a fucking granola eating pig comics have come a long way in the 80s was like you want to get paid in coke or cash yeah. <laughs> like, have you tried yuca <laughs> you can see so on the true. barcode but, yeah, yeah, but I've taken my risks, though. I mean, sure. like, you know what I mean? Like, the fact that I'm still here uh, and not withering away. It's, it's amazing I can put weight on, considering the things I've done yeah. <laughs> sexually. <laughs> you know, it should, be a, it should be a blessing, I guess. Right, right. I just want to eat healthy, because I don't want to stop drinking alcohol. Same, same, same. You know? Right. Do you drink before you go on? Like, I could never get drunk nah, before. No, not, especially not in the city. But, like, on the road, I'll, if it's a late show, I'll have a drink. And then maybe, yeah. you know, it's kind of like a reward, like, afterwards, you mm-hmm. know. Have you ever felt like, because uh, I've seen, we've all seen videos of guys who drink. Too. Have you ever, like, had a couple and go, like, oh, fuck, I, I can't perform? Or, totally. You have, right? And that's why I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Because it's totally fucked shit. And you're slower. you got to be sharp. Once you, you think the booze will help you. It'll make you, like, Doug Stanhope and you're, you know, waxing poetic up there and you're romantic with the, the scotch but it's all shit yeah all of a sudden too you like, you fuckers don't care yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly i've definitely felt like slower i slow down you do right yeah but how about coke or something wouldn't coke make you faster i've done it on adderall before and Wait, boy cocaine? i was on fire i was zipping were you great Ad- yeah i was killer comics used to do cocaine oh yeah oh like you think bernie mac did cocaine I don't know. Uh, William. Robin did a lot of coke. Yeah. Prior. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nice. No, my, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See? The line. By the way, anyone that doubts that's a woman, that's, that's the reaction. That. <laughs> that's the reaction to a fart. <laughs> That's a clip. <laughs> that was perfect. Send that to JD Vance. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, we did 20 minutes on ball licking, but that toot, that was over the line. Absolutely. What do you eat that you're always farting like that? I don't know. I'd like to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Good a question. Problem. We went to a diner today. Had a, I had a salad and a waffle. I don't want to know. Yeah. Well, right. your body is very, uh, it, it's getting rid of the toxins. Yes. It's a great thing. Yeah. Here, here. Farting like that is very healthy. Do you guys, other than that, do you have any peeves? Interesting uh, things. Oh, I wrote you? one down, actually. We do this thing called peeves. Peeves? Pe- uh, peeves. Oh, peeves. sure, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got one. What I don't like. Okay, you start. Well, you lo- you don't. I don't know why I'm dictating you how your podcast goes. <laughs> Fuck me. Sorry, go ahead. You have Jim, a drink. You Jim's start. pet peeve is vaginas on a woman. <laughs> no, uh, I like, uh, I had this at an airport. We had that, what was that? Gender strike, what was that thing called? Crowd strike. 
Right. You saw that where all the IT went down, all the computers yes, went yeah. down? Like this week. This week oh, on I Friday. Flew, I flew that day. It was Same. not a fun day. Oh, no. Brutal. Newark yeah. was insane. That's where I flew in. Dude, when I landed, everyone, I couldn't get out because the whole walkway was just packed was with people. Night? Yes. It was insane. Yeah. I was, thank what? God I landed. Yeah. I know. Well, I took off on the day of, and it was, all, my, all my flights got canceled. The connection got canceled. So I'm at the, the United counter. Like, what do I do? I got to make this flight by five. And, they're, and I was like, I missed my connection already. And then the lady does the typing, you know, behind the yep. computer. And I hate the typing. And then she goes, oh, oh, you're going to miss your connection. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I just told you that. I hate when they re- you tell them your problem and then they realize it and they repeat your problem. It shows you that they're not listening. Yes. Yeah. Did you miss the gig? No, I made it, but I flew to Minneapolis and drove four hours, rented a car. So I made it an hour late. We had to push the show back, but it worked out. Wow. Were you with anyone or you would do it solo? I was solo. Well, I had an opener who, who was living there. What, where was the gig? Uh, Sioux Falls. What time are you supposed to? I'm fascinated with you two because you both fly day of gig. Yeah. I can't do it. Tomorrow I'm leaving for San Diego. My gig is Thursday because I take a, a drop of mean. I can't. What time That's was... also a nice city to kill a That's night. That's true. In. I guess San Diego is nice. Yeah. yeah. It's like Comic Con. He's not living it up at night. You're not going out and having a. Sure I am. Come on. Go out and have a cappuccino. <laughs> 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 never party city with Jim. Yeah. No, it's not. No, no but that, like but even during the day, you can kill the day at That's the beach. True. It's like a That's nice, true. you know. I, I mean, do I look at <laughs> Okay, never mind. Just lollygagging with my fucking blubber hanging over. Yes. All when Jim black. made it, he made his way be, of being to be like slow steakhouse, elegant, gen- okay. gently man. That, I like that. A gentleman, yeah. That's how yeah, I, that's exactly. Very gently manish. Okay. Gentlemanish. Yeah, they're all like, who's that Make-A-Wish in the booth over there, <laughs> eating alone, <laughs> all black? Wait, the um, but on the road, you guys, what time was your flight supposed to be for like an 8 o'clock gig? What time was your original flight? It was a 7 o'clock gig in a theater, and it was a 8 a.m. flight okay. in Chicago. Then that flight, there's a layover, then I landed at 2.50. Oh, that's reasonable. Okay, that's a, that's a brutal fucking. It was a brutal day, day. though to wake up at what, like six, and you yes. go home at night. That's not fun. Brutal. And you drove four hours on. Oof. That's yeah. Fun. And we had to push the show to nine instead of seven because I was late. But we had to contact the whole audience. It was a bit. And when we you made guys it. do comedy as a comedian, do you sometimes go to the places that are just shit? Where you have to stay in a motel, where there's no nice hotels. Everywhere's got a decent hotel now. Because there's always I, something, yeah. But I've been with him on the road, and they don't have decent hotels. Oh, I really? mean, I'm talking like Her terrible. Majesty pla- is talking- no, no, I don't even mean Marriott. I mean like not even that, oh, like a real motel, like a motel. Red roof like yeah, like yeah. I mean, we've all done it. Like I mean, a bikers. But... I didn't find that fun. <laughs> that was one place, and that no, was in New Hampshire. It's been many times. Uh, she's very spoiled. No, oh, I can't I'm not stay spoiled, here. There's not, but, there's not towels no, in the I'm bathroom to wash your hands with. Yeah, it's very. That was a shock, and that's why I don't go with them on the road anymore. Oh, smart move. You went with the shitty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, wow. Look at like, the bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stays home, and now I'm in a Ritz. <laughs> Genius. No, it's. Uh, I, I try to land early, but yeah, dude, the, the power outage is like, what the fuck? I know. We don't know, we know what's going to happen. A flu. I'm doing a gig with Nimesh, Chris D., and Jordan Jensen, and she texts me. She's like, I'm landing at three. I go, I wouldn't do that. And she's like, really? So now she's landing at like 8 a.m. I'm like, we didn't have to overcorrect that yeah. much. You know? No, I go in the night before. Yeah. I Because I, I hate to stress. I think in 34 years, maybe I've missed one or two gigs. Like, I don't ever miss wow. gigs. But I'm so paranoid about it that I fly in the day before because I don't like to stress. I like to drive overnight to the next gig. Like, mm. you know, you got the way you like to do yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, I get A way that makes it fucking uh, tolerable. I hear you. Yeah, I it stresses you. you out. I get that. I, look, missing gigs sucks. It, it's, it's the worst. all of us. Yeah. I just hate losing a day. I don't want to lose a day of my too. life. Yeah. Alone. No, you're right. Down. You're right. But you can't. I can't sleep the night before. Like I, I'm always wide awake. He was until... just with me to Norway for a funeral. Oh wow! And in that moment, I realized that although he's my husband, in this moment, coming with me to my dear grandpapa died. Uh, my grandfather, and he came to my funeral, and I told myself in that moment that this is my real husband and this is my real family, although he's not in my family because he came with me to the funeral. And we was on the plane, and it had a ter- terrible turbulence. I'll never fly again. Whoa! I'm, yes, no, you I'm will. Ta- no, I'm Come telling on. you, I'm not gonna fly for it's another. It's getting dicey, though. I'm not gonna fly for another year, and I mean it. And I'm not airplane scared at all. But that turbulence was enough to put me in a graft 
mm. where I don't think I'm this was one of those ones where it actually it lifted up and sl- it was Ooh. like you plummeted Ooh. and the flight attendant fell People and were screaming. I, she, I, I realized Literally. I didn't know I was screaming because I, I, I'm like I didn't hear screaming because yeah. I was holding the seat going. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was doing that. I asked the flight attendant, "Was this bad?" And she's like, "It's the worst turbulence I've had in 40 years." Wow. In 40 years, she said Crazy. she's never hit it. Yeah, for wow. 10 seconds we, it was like I thought I was gonna die. I always wow. think of Jim because the worst flight of my life probably was flying to Rochester and I saw you the night before and you go, oh, you flying there? I said, yeah, he goes, ooh, I hate that that flight. I'm, I always drive and I'm on with Gary Veter and for whatever reason, it's like, first off, we're supposed to sit together, but some woman just like, we, we booked together, but someone was like, no, that's my seat. And I was like, it's a 40 minute flight. Who gives, yeah, who shit? gives a give shit? It. So, yeah. so we're, you know, we hated this woman, but we're like, of course. 40 minutes. As we're landing, like it's just shaking, so it's too windy to land. So the guy just fucking top guns it and just belts back up, and we're yep. like, oh my God. "Is this guy gonna like German wings us? Is this like a fucking depressed Sully. pilot?" So we're looking, and the woman behind us is just like, ah! <laughs> ah! and we're just looking at her like, "Fuck this woman, we hate her." We're like, "It's the only joy we're getting." Yeah, <laughs> she's suffering. At least if you crash, you know she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking at each other like after that, we're just like, "What the fuck?" And like, I don't know. And then like after ten minutes, he goes, "Sorry, I I couldn't land in that wind." I had to I had to make something happen. We're like, make something happen. What the yeah. fuck? That would wow. scare the yeah. shit out of but, me. But the guy yeah. picking us up goes goes, Oh my god, some plane just top gunned it. I was like, that was us. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. It's very Mark uh, from comedy of the Carlson. Wow. Well, Jim's a bottom gun. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody died in turbulence like a month ago. Did you really? see that? It was in the news. They probably either had a heart attack. I'm gonna guess it was a heart attack or they banged their head. The the news sites always put that up, but right. it's ne- it's never the turbulence mm. unless they, they broke well, the neck. It was very scary and it's gonna take me a while before. That was scary. Oh, that was legit scary. Yeah. Like, that was a plummet. It is getting... Really? There's certain... Yeah, you see it on the news, too. The guy ended up in the overhead. Oh, yes. yeah. His little feet hanging out. <laughs> it was that. fucking hilarious. Singapore, that was it. Traveling from London to Singapore hit severe turbulence. A man in his 70s Look, it's like a Viking funeral. <laughs> One passenger says anyone not wearing a seatbelt was launched immediately, oh. including the cabin crew. Oh, my oh. God. That's way worse than we hit. Really? Yeah. Did you? Or it was long. Did your uh, no? There wasn't but I mean, things scattered everywhere, but people flew up to the ceiling. Whoa! Yeah, it was bad, and it was such a roller coaster feeling that you can't control yourself. I couldn't control myself as a human because of the gravity. So I knew that the pilots were startled. She of thought they were scared. Of course they were startled. And he doesn't think they were scared at all. They weren't. I think the pilots of that Norwegian flight were extremely scared. They Whoa. weren't. Though. Of you, course they were. You want to fly were. with a pilot who hits turbulence? Of and course going, oh, the they back. were. Because your <laughs> body is out of gravity control. Who yeah. wouldn't be scared? People want roller coasters and I'm just scared. saying they were scared, Jim. All right. I don't believe it. Damn. So, Jim, do you have a pee view? Had one earlier. Yes, when my wife insists on the emotions of pilots. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I have a peeve? I, uh, What's a peeve? A pet peeve. Like, things to bother you. Um, uh, we're putting you on the spot. No, no, it's a, it's not. It's a, but we all have them. I'm trying yeah. to think of one. Uh, I, I got one. If you can't think of one, right. this happened last week. I I was in Austin. I had to go to Nashville for a night, and I did those guys busting with the boys podcast. Great guys. They end up saying, "You want to go to the." Uh, we're going to a Post Malone show. Do you want to go? I go, oh. fuck it. I got a night to kill. I'll go yeah. to the show. I run into DeRosa. I run into Shane Gillis. A bunch of people are chilling there. It turns into, you know how it is with, it's bad enough with just DeRosa, but Shane Gillis too. Oh, trying to get, it's like a video game, trying not to get blackout drunk. Yeah. It's like trying to walk around them. So the peeve is being 40 plus and being like, do a shot. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a fucking peeve. And then it leads into my wreck, which is the fucking Irish exit. I love an Irish exit. Uh, I Irish exit. And guess what? They're so fucked up. No one notices. No one notices. No, one notice. no one's offended when you Irish exit when they're blackout alcoholics. <laughs> and they're yeah. so hungover the next day, they're like, they're not going to be like, you fucking asshole. They're worried about their own shit. They're yeah. just puking. I mean, the toilet. Irish exit has something to do with being drunk. Yes, yeah. like they drink a lot. Yeah. yeah, that you slip out and no one notices. Well, dude, I, you're drunk. The Irish goodbye. Drunk. I was with Taylor and Will from the bus, the Busting with the Boys podcast, and they were all like, "Let's like that." We knew we were running into Shane already, so they know Shane. They know Derosa, and they're like, "Let's all make a pack not to drink." And I was like, "I'm in, dude. We'll be good." Ah. Yeah. I was already hung over from Kill Tony the night before, and I was like, "I'm down. Let's not." Taylor leaves. He comes back. We're both holding Bud Lights. I'm like, they're cold. I don't know. I, we already bailed, but I, I only did a couple. I I, I was like, I, I got out of there. What was the show? 
Post Malone. How was he? It was awesome. He he brought out all these other guests. It was like Blake Shelton. It was oh, like all wow. these. He brought out. It was a small show for Bud Light put together. Uh, and, and then uh, he did a song with Ozzy, which was great. Really? I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then he did. He did. A, he brought out people I didn't know, but some woman. And they did like Johnny Cash, Jackson together duet. It was killer. They did a really good show. Comedy yeah. and music is really melding. It's like Jelly Roll is at a show, or Post Malone. They all do Kill Tony. Uh, what's it? Gary Clark Jr. is always at the Mothership. It's, yeah. it's coming together. I never have musicians at my shows. I've, I've, I've had none of those great stories. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 with Ozzy. Yeah. I am. Yeah, that's, that, that, that is true. But he's never been at one of my shows. But I am, I am friends with Ozzy. I don't, I don't believe that. I saw you on a fucking Gene Simmons roast. Oh, I forgot about that. You, know, you, you, know, you have better stories than any of us. I tell this to Jim all the time whenever he feels down. I'm like, Jim, you live the fucking life. Yeah. Yes. You've been around all these people. You're a fucking legend. Ugh. Why would you even look at yourself this way? Uh, you've I mean, done I, it I mean, and I, you should love it. Here's my one. That you've done it. Here's my one cele- my one big uh, celebrity in the uh, room story. Uh, Ice T was at a show that I completely bombed at. Whoa, <laughs> 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 uh, it was that fucking in Vegas. It was the, uh, remember that, the a Jeff Beecher show. Do you guys ever do Beecher show? It was a crazy no. show. It brought in all these celebrities and interesting people, and it would be like a sword swallower. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm backing into it. All right, all right. Too easy. <laughs> um, but like jugglers and crazy, and Bobby Kelly went on and fucking killed, and I went on and fucking nosed dope. Oh. Oh, what a bad set. <laughs> Did you see Ice TF? Right, front row. Oh. oh. Yeah, that was rough. Damn. That was rough. Were you around when comics used to open up for rock acts? They still do, but not as much. But yeah, no, not necessarily. uh, Like, you know, Jim Florentine does, Brewer does. um, But yeah. yeah. But I'm Dreesen used to open for Sinatra. Yeah, like that type stuff. And John Panette used to open for Sinatra. Really? Yeah, John Panette. Wow, what a combo. Is my husband the oldest in the room? Definitely. Yes. Yes. That'd be my pet peeve. Matthew. (laughs) You are 45? I mean, I'm close to that. Yeah. Okay. She never understands how people are you age. protecting your age. I am. People are ageist. People oh. asked me the other day, they're like, how old are you? I was like, 43. I've seen older. People hate mentioning their age. And she, I tell her, like, people don't like that. And she's like, oh, okay. And then, then she'll be like, there's still somebody there else. There was this female comic one time, and she was 40. And I thought she looked so Lolita. I thought she was like 25. And I asked her, how old are you? And she's like, I'm 40. And I'm like, oh my God, you're 40? And then there's a comic who's going to start before her. And I'm like, she's 40. <laughs> Can you believe it? And he goes, oh, my God, she's 40? Yeah, and they were, like, and staying just, with her, I and they had no idea how old she I was. I didn't like, you realize her mouth? they had broke girl code, because I'm not supposed to say that. And no. I should know girl code better than that. Right, right. Damn. Yeah. Nikki Glazer. But you are 40, <laughs> no. so suck it up. Yeah. Well, I, know, I know why you're you're worried about people being ageist, but Matt is a great photographer. Hire yes, he Matt, is. Uh, at Salacuse on Instagram slide, and he's so good. And yeah. I, I know that's why you're worried, because it's like young people coming into the... Yeah. yeah. Matt's great. You've yeah. done he's video stuff with us. Yeah, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. I wish it were true. Yeah, hire Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt did that. You did that one, right? I the, did that one. The Sam, yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Maybe you could do... I need... I need... I don't have any pictures from my tour, because, again, I got fat, so I don't want to do he pictures. You need a new headshot. I do need a new headshot, yeah. Do it together, two of you. Yeah, we need something together, but I also need a solo one for my gigs. Yeah, we can um, make you pregnant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Men can't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we should do something else. Yeah, there we go. We got a gig. Yeah, Networking. Matt's very good. He's a great, He's great. videographer as well. Thanks. Yeah, well, yeah. that's uh, we're on the fence on that. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, he's great. He's shot a lot of ton of my stuff too. Yeah, same here. No, you definitely use him. Yeah, we just uh, we we got to get somebody re- regular. It's, it's hard to find a like a, a, a person, a consistent yeah. person. That's why we haven't podcasted in a well, few. Well, we weeks. had a woman who used to shoot everything we did, and now we're just kind of re- uh, shuffling through people. She went back to school, and so uh, like we're yeah, trying. Yeah, she to, had know. a life change, but it's not that easy once you're settled with someone to then proceed with someone new. Yeah, yeah it's difficult. So. Because you meet people and you're like, nah, they're not right. That person. We've not shuffled right. through like six people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're in a transitional period. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, the second they walk in, she's like, my balls yeah. bothering you, and they're like, I, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> These balls could talk. Do you do, do you do the studio in your apartment? No, we he do. Could. We've done here. We've uh, done. I um, not in your room, but we've done. Great producer over here. I know. He did one episode for us. It was like I think the last one we shot actually. We ah. could set up something. Um, but no, in the apartment is too difficult because we don't have the room and the soundproofing and stuff mm. that you need for great audio. Right. Um, 
it would just be it, it, putting it up and taking it down would suck. So we got to find like a regular place and somebody who can get us guests. And, you know, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a job. It's a fucking job. It's a lot of work. How many do you guys tape a day? Two, two usually. Two? Yeah, one or two, but like, you know, a little buzz from that. Do you ever yeah. miss weeks or no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah that's we why we do it. That's why, yeah, no, we I mean, just, do you ever not release on a week? No. no after release. Consistency is key, so, okay. so you got to stay on one it. One of us will be gone for a week, and we just so that's why we, we double up some days. Mm. Yeah, right. we're going to Europe, we're going yeah. to Australia, you know, things happen. When's Australia? No, you're saying you're going. I'm not going to Australia. I went there in November. Oh, well, there you go. How long? I Dude, I did the shortest Aussie tour ever. I did like eight days or something. Ah, okay. How I, was it? Awesome, but I just was like, I was on the road so hard last year. I was like, let me just fucking, I'll get like a day off here. I had like two, I think I had a day off in Melbourne and a day off in one other one. Maybe I, I like a nice day. I like a trip of leisure. <laughs> yeah. I do a gentleman's so trip. Cool. I mean, like I, I, Australia is incredible. Did you see the Bon Scott thing in Melbourne? Uh, they they have a Bon Scott mural, and it just looks nothing like Bon Scott. Like <laughs> oh, it's really? really not good artwork. In Australia, like that. Yeah. Remember that Lucille Ball uh, thing? Pull up that Lucille Ball. Uh, the worst fucking statue they made of her ever. She was a tough interview, by the way. I, saw, really? I, I never met her. I saw her on Carson, and she would come in and go, ah, well, you know, and, and like Are all you of her. saying she's a bitch or no? Not a bitch, but her jokes would look, bomb. Look at that awful one. Oh, wow. Looks like uh, oh, wow, yeah. God. Andy Griffith or whatever. Holy shit. It does look like Andy Griffith. <laughs> <laughs> look like someone did it on meth. She yeah. was an attractive woman, though. That's fucking insane. She was That's very crazy. fuckable. She looks like Zira from Planet of the Apes. Mm. Oh, yeah. I could see that. Yeah. No, All that's right. not good. That's not a good Lucille Ball. She yeah. looks more like Bon Scott. <laughs> <laughs> she really does. Holy shit. Decent bulge on him, though. They gave him that. Bon? No, but no in real life, Bon had a bulge. A statue oh, okay. of me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear. What they did my awkward wife say? so manly. <laughs> um, yeah, they really did. Bon Scott's bulge was legit. Okay. Watch whole lot of Rosie when you get time. They did a live version of when it. Did it. When did he pass? No, that was Tom Jones yeah. who had the. Big no, bulge. it was Bon Scott. Yes, he did Tom too. Jones. But Bon Scott. And know the Tom Jones was a great musician, but even his words wouldn't He's lure me dead, into that he? bulge. Really? Bon Scott, dead. No. Bon's no, been no, dead no, since no, 1980. Tom Jones. He's alive. Alive. Yeah, yeah. He's 80 something. Yeah, he was great. He was he. Got a lot of ladies. Oh my Tom god! Jones. Yeah, he was just Tom pick Jones. Out. Yes. Um, Hotel key. Yeah, he had a fucking be Bon Scott had a, a legit bulge. You got okay. and Bruce Dickinson. We were uh, talking about this on Jim and Sam recently. I don't know why it comes up. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to talk about. It is fun to talk about. We respect it. Yeah, uh, Lisa Ann said John Sally is the biggest she's ever seen in her life. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Extra wow. Troy Piston, right? Yeah. Not surprising, though. No. Six, yeah. six, six, nine, whatever he is, giant cock. How big is he's fun. He's nine a fun inches? guy, too. I think more than that. More than nine inches, yeah. Wow. More wow. than nine? If Lisa Ann said it's the biggest she's ever yeah. seen, she's one of the biggest porn stars in the world. Wow, that's genuine. Danny D's 12. Danny? Danny D? Who's that? He's a British porn star. He's oh. a skinny guy, like unassuming, tall, skinny guy. Huge hog. It's insured. That's how big his hog is. What does that mean? Wow. How do you insure a dick? Well, he's scared of breaking it, so he wants to keep it in check. Is he a porn star? <laughs> yeah. Uh, black guy, white guy? White guy. Tall Danny British D? Guy. You never heard of Danny D? No, I don't really watch oh, so much porn legendary. anymore, honestly. I don't oh, know who he is. Send link. Yeah. How, Put a wig how, on how him. You don't like him. You watch? <laughs> 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 Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> that was fucking good. He's insured it. I don't know. I don't know the details. Oh, yeah. That's he's got bon a little, uh, little wet spot. I yeah. Think. I just I would never I'm fuck fine. him. I'm sorry. Really? You I don't, don't like th I don't think that's hot at all. I, like I don't think belly. he has any percent of sex appeal. For me really? as a young person, he would never get to fuck me. Okay. Never. I would mm. never let him fuck me. It you take matter, very odd stances. It stand. doesn't matter how much coke <laughs> thing. And bon I don't like a guy with AIDS, and I wouldn't <laughs> fuck Bon <laughs> Scott. He is just not fucking sexy. Two things you don't like: AIDS that and Bon Scott. That is not sexy. Yeah. Really? So you wouldn't is fuck that Magic Johnson? Yeah. That's what you're saying. No, I wouldn't uh, fuck <laughs> Magic Johnson. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, no MJ, huh? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. No. A little water. Oh. There you go. What, what is not sexy about him, and what is sexy about Jim? I mean, that really is what so I, I love, I'm wondering, too. You no, know, I love mature men. This is true. Okay. Like 40 plus, perfect. Um, And Jim kind of, it took me a while to learn Jim. Mm. Meaning, when I first met him, I thought he would have an awful, shriveled up penis. Yeah. No foreskin, just like 
weird. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. just like a really weird cock. Thank you. Yeah. But then when I sucked you, you did actually have a nice dick. So See, that's think, the stuff that that that's the I, stuff that I, that's the stuff of yeah, vows. I think the yes. more time yes. we spent when I sucked together, you. <laughs> the more we got to learn each other. Because <laughs> if you had a terrible cock, I don't know if I could deal with that. But you didn't say the first time I saw it. You said the first time I sucked I you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I sucked you the first day I saw. I know you did. I know, but just. <laughs> Just no, the, the no but we were in Oslo, and the first sucking. thing we did was that we went to a hotel, <laughs> and I sucked his dick, and vice versa. Oh. <laughs> I hate that there was a champagne sip after that. <laughs> after that, a toast, ladies and gentlemen, to my cocksucker husband. <laughs> and Jim really taught me to believe in myself. Oh, really? Yeah, that's one yeah. thing I'm good for. Maybe open with that at the vows. <laughs> yeah. First time I sucked. The first you. time I. First time I first time I sucked you. <laughs> I realized you had a better dick than most. Thank you. And this is true. Jim Norton has a better cock than most. Thank you. Most. It's really true. This is true. And I've been with huge cocks. Oh, oh wow. really? Yeah. Huge. It's always good to add that. <laughs> Jim has been wonderful. That's always a, a helpful parenthetical. <laughs> yes. But you're on the bar, she said. You're up there. Megan, a clip all this. No, I'm very open about our sex, and I think more people should be. It's like when you're like a normal wife, and you're like, I'm not going to talk about my sex life. Sure. I'm like, what a fucking, you've failed in life. I agree. Completely failed in life. He has. Just to keep your Sada. Yeah. Yes, I sucked his dick and vice versa, and now, it was great. Do yeah. you go in the the pooper? How's that work? Well, we don't do that much anal actually. Oh, really? It's mostly mouth fucking. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. this is true. I've done a lot of anal in my life, but it hasn't been so much with Jen. Again, you could have quit while you were ahead there. Yeah, that? but it just <laughs> it's 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 complete. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I remember the first time I did anal. It really was like breaking your virginity. Because yeah. it really hurts, at least yeah. for me the first time. John Sally. And, um, <laughs> yeah, we didn't do that much anal. Not really, no. You're not a, a fan? lot of people yeah. probably think we do a lot of anal, but it's mostly. <laughs> and some things you could just say, like, well, we. Jim being we, fucked in mouth. Or or, or her sucking my dick. I like, suck you know. your dick. Yeah, you do. Thanks. I'm a, I'm, I'm a professional at sucking penis. You are. I mean, yeah. Great cocksucker. Yeah. Two champagnes in. This is when the information starts going. <laughs> hey, keep it Here, going. Here's the. the if, if you marry somebody trans, never give them two champagnes <laughs> and then say, so what is sex like? Yeah. First time I suck your dick, honey. <laughs> no, I don't care. Well, it's hard to beat a good BJ. Like a great beach is amazing. Is, is pretty good. Sometimes better. But than like, sex. why wouldn't most people want just a blowjob? Because if you're in a gay relationship, right? Like I consider trans. If you're fucking someone who's trans, you're in a gay relationship. Okay. I look at it that way. If you fuck them in the ass, why wouldn't you just be fine with a little dick sucking? Because then you don't have to deal with the mess, yeah. the cleaning, the not eating. Right. You can just get your cock sucked and it feels just as good. Yeah, there's Better nothing worse. You want to get, get you want to come and you also want some beef stroganoff. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think we both enjoy being fucked every now and then. Every I can't now take and being then. fucked. I can't take being fucked. Every now really? and then. No, I cannot. I cannot. What about a pinky or something? Oh, delightful. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. sure. I'm more than welcome. A, a hint is fine, but I, yeah. I, a hint I've, of a I've pinky. Seen, I've seen the begging videos. I'm like that looks like oh. that looks rough. Which ones? The pegging videos. I could never take that. My ex girlfriend was a dominatrix, and she tried to. And to she was probably sexually more hardcore than I am. Oh, she was. I'm very, I'm very vanilla. Very dirty. Yeah, she's very very normal. But very my vanilla. ex was very very dirty, and she tried to fuck me with a strap on, and I got like that much in, and I'm like, oh, I got a shit, and I ran yeah. to the bathroom, and she's yeah. knocking on the door. Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just can't. Yeah, I was ashamed. Yeah. I wanted to do it, but I just couldn't. My yeah. body wouldn't. Body doesn't take it. Well, we have friends who need to get pegged to yeah. get really? every single guys? man that yeah, I have, you know them. Every really? single I'll man that later. I've been with, <laughs> every single male has wanted to get fucked or suck my dick. Wait, but I want to know who the guy who gets pegged is. I'll tell you off, off air. air. Yeah. Do I know him? Oh yeah. Really? Oh, I think. No, but oh this is true. wow. It's like every single guy that I've been with, and I've been with a few guys, not that many. But they all pretend like they want, oh, your ass and your sexy booty, but it's all, they all want to suck my dick. They all really? want to get fucked. Mm -hmm. They all show their ass. This is true. Have you ever had somebody show their ass on video and you didn't like it? Yes. I don't like hairy asses. <laughs> man ass. Sorry. Stuff. It's like a manhole and I don't like that. Yeah, it's awful. Now, have Gross. you banged some ladies? 
I've never touched a vagina. Whoa, Sam either. I've never. Th- <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a hairy no. asshole. So I'm out. Do you really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not I'm, horrible, I'm, but yeah, I've got yeah. some hair. I'm 27 now, so I'm at like a, a change in life where it's like I've tried the penis, gotten pretty used to the cock and the balls. I would like to watch you fucking woman. Maybe a vagina yeah, like could that. be in place, but it would, I don't know. That I would suck though if she really liked it. Yeah. Then I'd be on the outs. Bye, I'd Jim. Yeah. They're very nice. Yeah, pussy's yes. awesome, dude. It yeah. is nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe I would just be like robotically fucking the pussy. Yeah. Because it feels great. It does feel good. After leaving gym. Also, I think your biology kicks in where you're like. Exactly, because it was born a male. Exactly. So it's death I come. <laughs> right. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, wow, that looks really great. Get out of here, you fag. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is uh, we gotta get some more champagne in here. Yeah, yeah. I really want to know who gets. Tell me after who I gets will, pegged. You know, pretend I, I didn't know it was Derosa. Bruno did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just put it in. Yeah, we'll, we'll right. plug the podcast and, and say we're gonna be on the road. I mean, uh, yeah, where are you going? I got. Um, uh, by the time this airs, I'll have already gone for this weekend. So I just got a bunch of, uh, I'm doing uh, Montana for the first time, oh. Vegas, Tampa. I got a gig in New Jersey. I got Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, and um, <laughs> I got uh, Chicago in uh, December. Hell yeah. And then uh, the podcast is called Sword Fight. But we have to do an episode. We haven't done an episode in probably four weeks because, again, her, there was a death in her family, and she was away, and then we were away together, so... Um, and we put videos up on Nikki and Jim NYC on YouTube, which is and just our death, life. This death has made us closer. Oh, Family great. value like, I'm much closer to Jim now after he attended. I'm going to listen, dude. I, I'm, yeah. I'm pumped to listen to this. And also, go see Jim on the road. One of the best. Oh, thank and you. And also, you know that, but also, uh, the Your new, new hour is so amazing. fucking thank you, Mark. good. Thank so, you. So funny. Yeah, I want to shoot it uh, within the next four months. I want to get shot nice. at the, the view. Hell thank yeah. You. Thank you, guys. Great stuff. Uh, anything, Nick? You want to s- plug the pod or anything? Sword fight. Uh, Jim Norton on Instagram. Uh, oh, okay. And Miss Nikki Norton on Instagram. Oh. I just met you backstage at was it Joe's Club? I think so. Yeah, I maybe. I think at Joe's Club when Bert, Bert for Birds Festival. Yes, I, I first met you. Yes, and so on the, pleasure on the to boat. be here and thank you for having me. Thanks for coming My in. Pleasure. This is a great time. Sam O. Oh yeah, I'm all over. Oh sorry. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. I don't know when this comes August up. 11. August 11th. So we'll be in uh, Anaheim, California, Thousand Oaks, Reading, PA, Red Bank, Guadalajara, going to Mexico City. Ah. Yeah, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, St. Louis, Atlanta, Vancouver, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Portland, and London, Ontario, and Toronto, to name a few. Mm. What do you got there, Harry? I'll be in uh, Baltimore, <laughs> August 15th through 17th, and I got New Brunswick. I'm doing Stress Factory the 22nd through the 24th. Then, uh, yeah. Niagara Falls, Ontario. Ni- oh, Niagara Falls, Ontario, and then I'm off to Europe, London. Belfast, Dublin, Paris, Amsterdam. We added a show there. So uh, Copenhagen, Oslo, Norway. and Stockholm. I will be there. Yes, yeah, Sam, uh, Samarell.com. Wow. Watch the special on Amazon. You've changed, Sam Morell And uh, Bodega Cat, get the whiskey. We're sold out. Should be back by yeah! now. Hopefully we're back in the next couple days. That's Should great. Back. It's cooking, yeah. baby. Bodega cooking. Cat. All right. Thanks, Thanks for folks. listening, guys. Thank you very much Thank for having us. Great episode. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Sunday's the day for my next. About the fucking punk And I get down in the same way Up on the roof like a cop's coming And naked Samuel is feeling dangerous I'm out to lunch here in New Orleans This woman doesn't look like I remember